host, the Tedster, here in the flesh uh, with all of our players today, minus a couple. Uh, we have today Jabu, Tarek, and Lewis, who is now playing Rorik. Uh, so pretty cool stuff. Other than that, uh, this is part two of everything that's happening. So part two of the Temple of Set. Uh, if you missed the first part, don't hesitate to go back onto YouTube and check it out. It was pretty awesome. Uh, so we're going to get started right now. I, I, I think with the three of us here, I just see this. This is going to be a bloodthirsty group right here right now. But oh, the three of us back. work. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it's you guys. Bloodthirsty. You, yeah. I'm sorry. Go, go on, Ted. I was going to say, you guys can still chat, but uh, I'm back. Oh. And uh, and. Uh, when you're ready to go in game, you're uh, you're all set and ready to go. I was just gonna, I was just saying that like we are bloodthirsty, but we also the three of us do work well together, uh, and sometimes, you know, smaller groups do work a little bit more efficiently. Even though you know we lost a little bit of stuff not having uh, taken them. like we don't have any healing, but uh, as my friend Kyle says, healing's a crutch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the fastest healing is doing more damage. Yeah, I've been actually looking at my inventory. I I've got I've got some healing, so potion wise. Yeah, I have some. Uh, Rourke has some potions. It was part of like his, you know, uh, equipment and stuff like that. So. Right, and yeah. I got one. I have a. I have another tattoo left too that has a healing spell on it too. So. Nice. In a pinch. Anyways. Nice. All right, uh, and then Ted, whenever you're ready, like let's go. And I have, uh, I'm ready to do the the con save for the sword. I'm ready. Uh, you can go. Ahead. Oh, okay, I can just do it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, as Roar goes to wield the sword that was handed to him, he says something to the blade out loud, and he addresses uh, Thor, the god that had created this sword for Thorka to wield against the great evil. Um. Rorik says, this sword I will only use until we defeat that shit-eating son of a whore dragon that put the curse on my brother. And after that, I will either be putting it into the hands of Thorka, if we can save him, or... I will be sending it back to you, Thor, as uh, a thank you for supporting him. And now I'll make my save. All right. 25. It glimmers in your hand as if it pulses and knows it's supposed to be there. And you are able to wield it. All right, gentlemen, I think we, we spoke a little bit as we were taking a rest that that seems the mirrors themselves um, need to be destroyed, covered, so it cannot be used against us. Is that uh, correct? Yeah, uh, ab I, absolutely. I mean, it seemed to, to, to work. Um, as we took our sh our little breather, because um, you heard I heard it going off. I mean, I don't know how long ago it was now, but I heard it it going off. So clearly, there's it's I don't know if it's if it's just a, a set time or he's actually firing through the mirrors. But I don't think he can do anything right now because he's hiding behind his little shield. So I'm thinking it's it's something else in the temple that he it must be maybe all the same at, at a repetition every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. But I don't know how long. But covering him up absolutely works. I guess the question is, can we just flat out destroy him instead? What say you, Caster? The 
strong and silent type, Jabu ponders for a moment, not yes. wondering what I he's think going to say. The, I think he's cleaning the sauce off his eye. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so Tarek, you can either. What's we going to do? Hey, everybody, how are we doing today? I don't know. I, don't know. I think we're getting ready to decide if going up. Uh, we, we know that covering the mirrors will help us, but now we need to either go after the Great Beast or we can explore more of this dungeon, this temple, to try to find there could be ways buried in its depths that could help us. We just now, we just need to cover the mirrors as we go. Yes, absolutely. That I was going to say, I, I think exploring, exploring the rest of this first and, and either destroying or covering these mirrors as, as they go. Um, and as we move through there is, is the way to go. I agree. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I was, I had a, a vision. I, I, I sat down here and I spoke to Tiamat and asked for her help. And she told me she helped me if I get the flower. So we definitely need to go get that, please, as soon as possible. So the great dragon goddess told you that if this, if we get this flower, she could aid you. Yes, sir. She wants the flower or just that we get it in our possession? Just to see if I can get it, like a test to see if I'm worthy enough for her help. She don't want the mm -hmm. flower. She just want to see if I can get it. But before I leave, flower, no flower, I want to kill that beholder. Oh, I, oh, I yes. think we all three of us. Yeah, I think all three of us are in agreement right there. But I, okay. I think we just have what? to be, we have to err on the side of caution. And now so that we know a little have? a little bit more about how these mirrors and what's happening here, sort of. Um, so while, while you boys are going ahead and talk, I'm just going to look at my supplies real quick, and I'll be with you in one moment. Very good. Okay. So what tools do we have at hand to cover up these mirrors? I have sacks uh, that I use to, you know, put, you know, supplies, treasure to bring out of places. They can be used, but... They're, they are limited. Yes, and Clothing. one of the things I mean, I think we have everyone has at least like like a, like a blanket or a bedroll that that covered up. I also have apparently another set of clothes that could possibly be used as well. But yeah, the bottom line is we don't have enough to do everything individually, so we either have to destroy them or kind of do like a, a leapfrog through the rest of the temple and then from my limited memory of the big room I think there were at least one to two mirrors on every wall I, I can't be sure there's definitely is mirrors on, on, on some of the walls but I think there's either one to two her wall or something like that so you know that's for the end game but i think as we move through here definitely covering these things up or destroying them is, is the way to go sure. has your team tested out being able to destroy these mirrors no this is we covering up just now this was the first time that we've done it no one had tried to to destroy them um, I think once, and Tarek kind of chokes up a bit, he says, hey, I think once Thorka was, was destroyed, uh, I think all thinking went out the window at that point. Not that there was a lot of thinking before that, but, um, there was some, but it, it, it you know. It is what it is at this point. So what we could do right in the room is we could pull one of the bedrolls off of this and just try and smash one of these mirrors. Um, 
then I shall try. Good a place as any, I guess. So, uh, Ted, the mirror over here, is that just covered? Yes, I put X's over them just to show that they were covered. So, uh, Rorik is going to walk up to it and keep it covered because, you know, you can break a mirror while it's covered because mm -hmm. we'll either hear it, see it shatter, or it just won't break. And he will take a swing with this sword as to break the mirror, but almost also to practice and see and, and uh, test the weight of this new weapon. Okay. Uh, so uh, I will roll it. The attack. Yep. Take a swing for me. Okay. Come. Boom. Thirty-one. As your blade hits the mirror squarely on the mirror, you notice that there's something that's shielding these mirrors. Uh, you can you can suddenly feel some of the force kind of get kicked back off of you, and you don't get really pushed back or pushed away, but you you're starting to realize that uh, that the reason why people are having trouble breaking these mirrors is that they seem to be protected in some way, maybe even by the beholder or the lair itself. Ah, uh, Tarek, it seems that. <laughs> Whatever dark magic is protecting that beholder is also protecting these mirrors. Yeah. I swung with all my might and something else shielded it from uh, crashing and falling apart. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, it makes sense. Um... I think we have to just cover them up and get some type of really like at times between these because if they are on a regular basis we would be better well prepared we know when it's coming so if we're in a situation where we haven't had the mirrors that we can see or that may affect us depending on where we're at covered we've got a little bit of time that we know it's kind of be coming soon um if it's all random, then it's a moot point. We just have to be careful and cover them up as much as possible. So I guess we have two, three coverings that we have now. And then I guess uh, <coughs> with this extra set of clothes. Um, I have ex I have empty sacks we can use. And yes, bed rolls. Yeah. So I think we could definitely... Uh, get multiple pieces that we could cover up i mean i don't know i would hope that at least four to six mirrors if need be so ted if we were to like tear up sacks and bed rolls and kind of like like kind of use clothes how many covers do you think we have other than the two that we have in this room it's a great question. I was, I was already hypothesizing that, and I'm feeling that 10 is probably the number. That's if you're willing to destroy the clothes that you have uh, in order to make uh, proper coverings for the mirrors. Yeah, I feel like like the extra set of clothing that most of us have, um, you just rip it up where, in a way where it, it, it increases its you know size. To where it can be a covering or like and the bed rolls ripping them in a way where it would just be a big blanket and sacks breaking them and making it where it could just drape over these things exactly. so would you say we have 10 uh and then these two that we have here would be 12 or is it 10 all together it would be 12 if you include the ones that are there okay I mean, I don't think we'll need all of these at once as we, we maneuver through the rest of here. Because if the rest of this temple is anything like we've, we've seen so far, I'm assuming that where the Beholder was, that's the largest room. And the rest of them will be similar to what we've seen. Narrow corridors connecting other rooms. Um, with some some of the placement of the mirrors and corners, obviously, and stuff like that. So I think I think 
what we need to do is just explore the rest of this and see if there's something right. that we can find maybe that's powering him or something that we can affect in some manner so let me take mm. this one here and i will run and cover the one uh that is in that corner okay so um he's gonna go you know 5 10 15 20 25 30 to cover that mirror I'll move over just in case you need to see it. Yo, know, I think, yeah. Yeah, we need to leapfrog. So once Jabu is finished checking his supplies, we could maybe unmask this these two here. Yes, and then, I feel that then we can continue take on. We can take those down since this mirror is covered. It helps where he tries to use the mirrors with his rays. Right. I'm thinking anything we see, so we should probably... I walk over and I'll, I'll toss one on this right here for now. Just so it's covered. And since we started and Tarek was talking about the time, he's been trying to mentally keep account of time since he first mentioned it and then i if i could get a maybe a time check on how long it was if or not when you know or not if when the, a blast happens or that we hear yeah roll an insight check for me oh all right all right oh well, this is good holding the holding the soul ripper I still can't see shit. <laughs> well, with a 10, you, you're starting to feel like it's probably around 10 to 15 minutes per blast. Uh, you do hear the blast go in other places. So you feel that uh, sometimes he can, he's focusing on you. Sometimes he's fo might be focusing on other things. Maybe, maybe the beholder is getting distracted by rats and other things that are inside of this temple. You're not sure. Oh, okay. Uh, Thorka is kind of accustomed to I'm not Thorka, sorry, Rorik <laughs> is accustomed to doing hunting while he's traveling to survive can he make an attempt to see if he can figure out the timing? Sure uh, It's at insight? Yes Okay hmm. So I guess about the same as Tarek Yeah, be about the same as Tarek Hey. Okay. Ah, so, uh, what we uh, covered the two mirrors in this room. So, if Jabu can um, get the the uh, coverings for the mirror in the room that he's still in, so we can like take those, because all together we have like twelve coverings. All right, Jabu, did you want to do that? I did. I'll, I'll take the two coming, sure. Okay. And then what we can do, like, for a room like this, we could have, you know, I'd be here and someone would be here. Or it, it doesn't have to necessarily be me. I mean, I could take the lead and then we'd have a person here, a person there. And then we'd cover as we'd go through. And then the people behind us just could remove those coverings and then we could just continue forward. Uh, I have an idea as well. Okay. You look like a big boy there, Rorik. Obviously, I, I am. It's true, it's true. I have a ton of potions. Do you boys have any oil left? I I'm have... I have any oil. Oh, okay. Okay. Here, I, I have I have four vials of... Or, or wait... What am I looking at? Just oil. I have uh, three flasks of oil. Why don't you go ahead and put one on yourself? <laughs> I have ingredients that I, I, I 
that I made ten more ten more of them. Wait, are we talking about what are we the, talking about? I, like burning oil? That's what I was talking about. No, the plus two oil. Oh, the I have four of those actually. Then. All right, why don't you go ahead and apply that to yourself? Well, I already have one on. Okay, I have one on as well. Here, Rourke. Yes. Take two. And why don't you go ahead and put one on yourself? You hear a beam suddenly what, what? rip through, and you notice that the beam doesn't seem to go any farther than this. And you hear it ricochet a few times until finally it finishes up what it's doing and vanishes again. Oh boy. Was that in the room? Ah, so we were right about covering the mirrors. Yeah. Okay. Also, my last thing I'm going to say, so we can speed this up. <clears throat> if you, uh, you should tank for us. And when you uh, beat a fighter, I can cast Blur on you. And I'll give you uh, some help. They'll make you all blurry. So when they try to hit you, it'll be every attack on you will be disadvantaged. I have a ton of potions. I can be a healer. And Tag just back us up with your uh, bows and arrows. And if it really comes worse, push come to shove, I can just pile up more of you guys into something awfully scary. Well, I I definitely have a speed advantage too now. Well, we're gonna need that now to for you to go down the hallway and look for traps. <laughs> Yes, I think as we maneuver, I think the plan was we're going to explore the rest of the temple first and okay. kind of le leapfrog and covering the mirrors as we go and and try and mentally time between blasts, even though it seems like it's still random throughout the temple. All right, well, the beam just happened a few moments ago. Yes. Uh, I, I've been counting since. I'll keep a track. So once you go All ahead. right, so we have 10 coverings. I will get in front. Let's go. go. <laughs> I don't mean to rush you, but I know that beam's coming. Well, like I said, do you guys want to grab those coverings and I'll just I'll I'll go ahead yes. quickly and I will cover uh I guess with my uh I got the jacket one, or two, bedroll. Three, four, five, six. I could use my 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 speed. To basically drop three coverings right now. All right, go for it. If I go down to here, Ted, and then basically dash to the other end and cover these two up. Okay. And then allow them to uh, to take the two off and then come come up, essentially. I I grabbed mine and I'm coming up. All right, and I grab mine and I follow. All right. I'll cover this mirror right here. Yeah, that should be covered anyway. I covered all oh, three okay. of those. Now, we may lose a covering here and there, you know, depending on, on how fast we're moving through here. So There's a mirror at the end of the hall. Here, take, my, take one of my coverings. I have three here. Take one. Right, so beams about to happen, so you gotta right. hurry. Right, so I'm gonna rush up to here, and I'm gonna cover this one, and then cover this one here, and then come step back. You notice that it sees you, uh, especially hearing you. Well, we're saying this all through telepathic means, you know. Well, yeah, but there's no uh, <laughs> like you're not doing it stealthily. Uh no, I just completely ran by that little. I uh, absolutely ran by here to cover these and ran back because you know I I just heard the the beam is coming. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um. So this one and this one, right? Yes. Okay. And then you can have any now. Do we want to take um this and this? So what we could do, depending on how fast you could do, like like dash actions, if you wanted to get the one down at the end of the hall here, or just sacrifice that one. That's up to you. I'll grab it. And then you could run back, and you could actually we could stand in this corridor right here, the three of us, if a blast is going to be happening anytime right. soon. I grabbed it. I'm wrong. You 
hear the roar of a blast uh, just about to start. I'm going to wait right here. Or, yeah, or you could wait. I remember there's a, that little down passage. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll wait right here when the beam happens. You hear the Oop. ripping roar of a beam, and it doesn't seem to go any farther than there. Okay, let's keep moving. And that, that basically came from, like, where he was into the room, like, into here. That's what it seemed but, to be, yeah. Okay. All right, following you. Keep going. All right, so we want to go. This will be new territory when we get up to here. So I would suggest let me... I'm going to... And I'm kind of whispering this to said I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look to the left down the hall um, mm -hmm. and see if there's any mirrors facing me and if there is I'm then going to just search for traps along the way and cover up what I can so you guys just sit tight for right now okay no problem go ahead All right, we, we can at least get these two because right now where we're moving it won't matter because these are covered up here Right, so Ted, I am going to. Uh, I'm. He knows I'm there, so I'm just gonna to book it by. Okay. Yep. And kind of give him the finger as I run by the uh, <laughs> run by the passage. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna start actively searching for traps as I maneuver down this corridor. All right. I just need a perception check for me. Oh boy. Fuck, man. Anyway, all right, I'll continue moving down the traps, preparing to uh, have one go off. I'm going to need a dexterity saving throw for me right there. Right there, all right. Spikes come up from the floor. All right, well, you save. You can either go forward, uh, jumping out of the way, or backwards. I will I will jump forward. Okay. And then can I dismantle this behind me? You can. You would have to do just an investigation check on it. Uh or uh you can use your uh thieves tools to enhance it. Oh good. So that is completely dismantled. Uh, you find you find some of the uh some of where they're coming from and just just thrash it up so they can't really hurt anybody anymore. Did, did you say these mirrors are, are um, unmovable? Yes, they are immovable. Okay, never mind. Okay, so it looks like there's there's four it looks like there's four mirrors in here. I mean, I can't tell for sure what what's, what's, what's up here for sure. Uh, I'm not going to step in a room right now. So I'll come back down the corridor and I'll stand there and I'll point at the covered mirror behind me and I'll point left down the corridor and I'll just hold like four fingers up saying that there's four um, and that we should grab the grab the two. I'm like kind of pointing at Jabu, grab the two behind you and then let's we'll grab, I guess, this one. And then all of us get in this corridor. Yeah, I can grab that one. I can grab that one while running that way. Right. Okay, I'll grab it too. I got him. Right. I'm running. I'm running okay. you guys. I'm, I'm grabbing this one, Ted, while while Rourke is running. Okay. So I'm Tarek's, gonna, uh, I'm gonna Tarek's gonna step in the room, um, and he's immediately gonna cover this one, if I can. fix these tokens uh, first really quick. After you take those off, uh, Jabu, you hear the rip roaring of, of, a, of a beam that's starting to come from underneath. to tell you which direction it's coming from. 
All right. It's coming um, through from that hallway, and it's ripping up. Jabu, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw to see if you can dodge the beam before it hits you. Feeling pretty good. Nice. Jabu, you jump out of the way without any issue at all. You see that the beam itself uh, is stopped by that covering, and then it disappears. I hate this place. All right, so I covered uh, the one right next to me. Okay. I'll cover and this then... one here. Okay. Then I'll cover this one just in case. All right, and then we'll throw one on this one as well. Right here. Might as well check his chest, huh? Yeah, I still, I still haven't figured out the chest things yet. So, I, Ted, I will investigate the the chest. Okay. And I still have the 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 rapier out. So, all right, twenty seven. You can tell that it's not locked. Okay, there's no traps or anything. No. All right, so I will, I will open the chest. As you open it up, it looks to just to be uh, a load of gold, uh, probably about three thousand pieces worth of worth of just treasure, uh, different trinkets and pieces that could be very valuable at the Wandering Emporium. Do we want to take some of this stuff? Um, does it look? This is worth lots. Yeah, I mean, is there anything else that, like, I'm looking at? Because the, the other chest, it just had money. I mean, I don't know if there was any value in it. It was, like, I don't recall it being any any worth anything. We should probably just leave it for now. We can come back. Yeah, I mean, and there's nothing else in there. It's just It just looks like treasure. Just looks like treasure. Okay. It should probably slow us down for now. We yeah, I mean, we, we can come back and get it if we really. All right, I'm going to grab these, grab the cover and see where we go. All right, I would oh. say, yeah, I, I grab, uh, we'll do it like the Band-Aid right off, and then we'll yeah. run into the Hold corridor. All right. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll so we all cover. pull, yeah, and then we just pull off and grab the one, last person out, grab that one. Yeah. I'm going to stealth. See if I can stealth by this guy. All right. Because we yeah, got to cover that. that we got to we got to go back and cover those ones down. The I'm going to sneak by by like, swinging bats, I guess. It's a wall. Yeah, it's definitely going to hear the 12. bolt of you. Oh, me? And here's Rorik, and he hears Jabu fairly loudly. Grab this one, or leave this one. Um, I can get that. Let that be covered for now. Okay. And just, I guess, move south. I'll, uh, I'm gonna cover this. And then I'll cover this one. Okay, so I will, I will grab these two. And 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 run down towards those guys. And again, as I'm grabbing it, I'm I'm flipping the beholder off. Okay. As I run by, and I guess run to here. And was this dismantled? Or is that still uh, there? I think it was dismantled. Okay, so I would I would move past, and I would I would definitely put a covering on um, this one down here. Okay, as you as you get to where a paz was located, you notice that a paz is turned to stone. Okay. I think wouldn't I, I guess if being a familiar, he would have just kind of vanished. I guess. Yeah, it. Yeah. Turning into becoming petrified is just 
a uh, transformation so it just kind of vanishes but the the tyrannosaurus rex statue is still there right i'm like Such. all right let's do it i'm trying to sneak <clears throat> across the way yeah i was gonna say there's at least Three or four right in this. Whoops. I keep grabbing the. Uh... I can't click in there because he takes up the, the whole. I think there's like four mirrors in here. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I guess just run across. Yeah, just... I'll have to also uh, sneak. Okay. Oh, I'm not even so... trying. He knows we're here. Yeah, he. he... Unfortunately, none of those rolls make it. So I will run over to this and I will cover that. Uh, oh, I think we were here. or I think we were already here, guys. But well, we have to go to the upper right then. I think we actually have. Well, let's cover this mirror and cover this down right here. And just let's like take 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 the uh, 30 second timeout. Um. Uh, so I guess I'm covering that, and then I guess cover the one down there. I'll cover so, this one. So we got to go up to the right? Yeah, I think we have to move through. I'm looking at you both, and I'm like, I think we have to move through the, the big room. So. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> that we, run, we run with quick feet and get uh, out of its distance and cover up a mirror that could uh, be used against us. Right, so here's uh, the thing. Um, I looked into the room as we kind of dash by. There's definitely two mirrors on opposite walls above and below him. Um, I guess that run, I guess it's parallel or uh, horizontally above and below him. And then I think there, there has to be ones in the corners. So the room, I think, is fairly symmetrical so i think we need to run to the right and take the first passage off to the right or run all the way up to the top to where he doesn't have direct line of sight on us but that would be running by at least three mirrors as far as i can tell yeah well beam should be any moment now a beam has to happen any second so i should we should wait for the beam and the beam happens we go Yes, so I'm confident I can make it there. All right, so head up. Let's come by me. And uh, the second we hear the beam, we go. All right. Where the hell are you at? Oh, okay. Yeah, so the second the beam hits, we're going to run. We're going to run like little tap holes in the ocean, in the all body. Right. So we're going to run all the way up to the, 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 up to the right. All the way to the top right corner. Yep, once we hear that beam. All right. Yeah. Solid plan. Okay. Second hit of beam. You're quiet, and you're getting a little worried. And finally, you start hearing the beam charge up. Finally, oh, okay. fires. <clears throat> and it shoots out to all three of you. <sighs> Let's see which one that is. I need all of you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. It's the puffy butterfly spray, isn't it? It just shoots. You said Dex, right? Yes. All right. Uh, that's 25 for Rourke. So, Jabu, you start to feel yourself turning to stone, and you're starting to become restrained. Okay. All right. 
<laughs> There's a beam. Run. Don't worry about me. Go. Everyone but Jabu notices that your feet, like Jabu's feet, are not able to move. Like he can't move right now. He's stuck in place. Uh, Rourke will pick him up while they're running. Yeah, I was gonna grab him too. All right. All right. Rourke will get hindered by, by carrying things. All right, so I know. So I will like hold on to. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I know I got a hundred or at least the, the hundred twenty twenty double dash. And yeah, I, I as soon as I see this mirror, I do my darndest to run down the corridor and throw something over it. I need to make a dexterity saving throw once you go down that corridor because there is a trap there. Of course there is. So, alright. This is my... It's my strong point. There we go. You jump right over it without an issue. Alright, so I tell them to hold up and I'll cover that. And then I'll just come back and I'll just... I'll quickly... Uh, I'll take care of that and get that trap out of the way. Trap is removed. Jabu, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Got nothing. Tarek, I don't feel so good. I don't want to go, Tarek. I don't want to go. Um, is turning to stone, that's not, that's not considered a disease, is it? Unfortunately not. Tark, Tark, I don't want to go. I can't see. I can't see, Tark. Goodbye, small one. And he completely turns to stone. Petrified. No, he is still carryable. Terrible. Just in I will case. carry him. I will carry him to just let's, but we need to get to a different area now. All right. Tarek doesn't say anything. He just turns away, and he. I guess we got time, so I'm searching the corridor as I go down. All right. Uh, don't move any further. Do a perception check for me, just so I know uh, if you see the trap or not. You do. You don't have any problem with seeing the trap and disarming it. It's underneath your feet right now, so uh, you see it, and then you disarm it. All right, good to know. So I move down the corridor, and I will... Uh... Man, this is interesting. I will, I will rush up to here, and I will cover this mirror here and i as i'm running i tell rorik there's one off to your right straight at you at least get up into here for now or cover it i'll be right back i will go and cover this mirror rorik as soon as you step oh. up here i need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me okay 25. You jump right over without any issues. Danger sense. <laughs> and, and then I will uh, cover that uh, thing up. Yeah. I found another trap. Alright, I'll, I'll I'll take care of that. Um, so I walk over and I'll, I'll quickly take care of it. Alright, let's see what you got. And I just tell Rorik to come back in into where I'm at for now, because there's another there's another mirror down here. Um. Now, Tarek, your friend is a statue. Yeah, so, I know. I'm not leaving him here. No, but maybe to find a leave him in a corner, and we can yes. retrieve him. 
Yes, I think we could. I I think we will leave him here for now. This um, it seems like this this uh, area here will be safe enough for him. There are no wandering creatures that will. But he is also a statue. He doesn't smell like food. He is. Right. He's not hostile. Right, and I think as long as we leave him out of the way of, of any uh, mirrors, which I think, like, right where we're at, I think may be a good spot. So, because we know this thing will still shoot at the statue. So, anyways, so I, I'm going to investigate this. The chest, yep. Yeah. The chest does seem to be locked. It's pretty intricate, and it's going to require you to make two successful investigation checks with your thieves' tools in order to un unlock it. Okay, so just two thieves' tools checks. All right, here we go. I, I, I'm holding the Soul Ripper sword, and I look at it, and I said, all right. Keep it going. So with the checks, Warwick, you're noticing that uh, Tarek is taking the 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 golden the golden leaflets that are uh, holding the chest together, and uh, you start to notice. Wow! Uh, and Tarek, you start to notice too that if you had failed this, the chest probably would have exploded, just based off of what was inside and what would have triggered it. You. Disarm the trap successfully, eliminating the golden leaflets that would have connected everything together, and you open the chest up. You find four oh, potions that are all similarly looking. They look ornate, and they look very beautiful. Okay, would I have ever seen uh, these types of potions before? Probably not. The bottles themselves look like they're gold and inlaid in, in, uh, in just the, these rubies. Uh, whatever is inside of these bottles seem to be some powerful magic in some way. Uh, but really take an arcana check in order to really know what it does. I'm back. Alright, I mean, I'm, I'm not proficient in it, but what the hell, right? Was it a 3 or a 12? It's a 12 because the Soul Ripper gives me advantage on all ability. Right, yep. Yeah. Um, so you know that it's very, very good. You, It feels like it can heal something more than just health, but there's nothing really more that you can really understand with the potion. What do you feel from Tarek? What do you think they do? I, uh, I, I, I walk over to Jabu and I take one of the potions and, yeah, what the hell? I, I pour it over top of Jabu, the statue. Immediately, Jabu is able to start moving again and the statue-esque of him just kind of falls, leaving the fleshy interior. Ah. That is what I'm talking about, a man of action. Good. I look at Jabu and, and I actually I lean down and I, I kind of grab Jabu like in a, in a freaking hug that that not he, he's the only one here he's never seen Tarek really do any type of this emotion and then he I just put him down and I look at him and I just kind of point my finger at him and I don't say anything it's okay, you don't need to say nothing, big guy. I don't understand. You Thank are you so free much. from your stone prison. It's good to be back, I guarantee. Yeah. We just need to be uber careful. Like, clearly these mirrors can shoot at all very strange angles, not the ones that you would you would think that they would. So we have to just be extra careful. Well, thank um, you so much for getting me back. And we have three more of those potions. Swarpit says hello. 
<laughs> well, hopefully we'll have him back too. Um, okay, so I look at I look at Rourke and Jabu. I said, "All right, back to the task at hand." I said, "I know down this corridor here, there's another mirror. So, but I don't know how long we've got, and I wanted to at least search through here a little bit." Um, and you hear another beam just kind of rip through, uh, and nothing seems to happen. Rorik does see the beam, though. Uh, the beam seems to get stopped by a covering. Ah, the mirror that we covered down there uh, kept the beam from coming above. So no. for now, you can take your time and uh, search. All right, so I'll, I'll move down and I'll start searching as I move through. All right, roll um, perception check for me before you go any further. Man, my perception is horrible. All right, just move uh, back. You do notice uh, that there is a trap with that perception. All right, Tarek just silently kneels down and... Uh, dismantles the trap right. or attempts to dismantle the trap it is gone that was very impressive he has very skillful hands okay so I, as I'm moving forward I'm still kind of searching yeah and then I wanted to cover what was in front of me okay I will cover it up I'm going to cover this one over here. All right. And then just give the room a quick search. Okay. I used my two covers. I got no more covers. With your search, you just notice that uh, the room itself seems to be pretty pretty beaten up. Uh, this seems to be a little bit of an epicenter of, of what's uh, below you. You do see scorch marks all over this room from the beams themselves. And you're worried that uh, there's probably more than one entrance to this room uh, for the beams. Okay. So I will move up past Jabu, and okay, I will move forward, searching as I go, um, and cover this mirror. I'm gonna take this cover off. Okay. Off this one. Okay. Do we have a covering check by any chance? I got. I have one now. I only have two. Yeah, well, we had 12 total, but I don't remember how many in place. So. You have uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, you have 10 out out of 12. Oh, okay. I think I could grab this one since you covered this one now, and then we just move around that corner. Yeah, as long as we're not in this corridor. Yeah, um, Because exactly. it will so still fire the down there. Problem. Yeah. All right, so I will. I'll move forward and I'll cover this one, and yeah. All right, give me one second. Just want to make sure that it is clear. You do notice that. Okay, uh, and I see he's within my. My dark vision, I guess. Um, all right, so I quickly look back and I say, uh, I, I just look back at Rourke. I'm like, we got a creature up here. And I just take a step forward and I'll, I'll dismantle this trap. He yells out, I will handle if you it. touch anything else in here, you shall die. Mm-hmm. What if I touch you? Well, I will tell you that I will not appreciate it, and you shall still die. Eric draws his other rapier, and he switches hands with uh, the Soul Ripper. Try something new. 
Good job, Lou. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw both my daggers. Okay. And Warwick will still um, move up. And uh, and he says to Tarek, I'll keep that thing busy. You go look at mirrors. You're the fastest out of all of us. He's going to try to I'm gonna use cast Blur. Them. Blur on Warwick real quick. All right, what level is Blur? Second level. I need you to roll a saving throw for me. I need you to roll a... It's con save. It's constitution, yes. It passes, and Rorik, you feel the effects of the blur spell. And then the the thing that's in front of you seems to be casting something. He doesn't Tarek. seem to be an effect of anything. Tarek clicks the boots of speed. Okay. And I will rush forth, and I will attack him with booming blade. As soon as you get to here, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. I just want to say real quick on the game, I apologize for cutting you off, uh, or I just want to make sure I, I got the spell through. That's all. You're fine. You're all good. Tarek, as you, as you uh, run forward, you leap over that trap, and then uh, you can still go with your action if you're planning on doing that. I am absolutely planning on hitting him with Booming Blade. All right, nice. But I'm using I'm using the other rapier. I'm not using the. Uh, oh, let's see. That is a miss. I am very surprised, actually. Uh, and his spell goes off in front of you. Uh, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh. All right. <laughs> At a twelve. Oh. <laughs> No. You're gonna take 51. Uncanny dodge. All right. Um, so you'll take 25 necrotic damage, and since you failed the saving throw, your hit point maximum is reduced by that equal amount. So your hit point maximum is reduced by 25. What? Okay. Is that the, is that the, the, the uh, spell? <clears throat> is that a permanent spell effect? No, it's reduced for a certain amount of time. It's the harm spell. You recognize it, Jabu. And is that... Uh, I have the temporary hit points. Does, so I lose the temporary hit points. So I have 21. So I would take... So it'll, so it'll deal... It's it's really nasty because it'll take take over the temporary hit points. It'll, it'll hit those. But it also still reduces your maximum by 25. Alright. So the maximum now becomes... Oh, that's just PG41. So I'm just doing the math right. So 41 is now my what I had. I had 66. So 41. And then the temporary hit points go away. Yeah. And then I will take... Four more points of damage, I guess. Is that um, correct? You, you wouldn't take the four more because the damage happens first, then the reduction. So it all gets soaked up and then the reduction uh, happens. So it just it's just your 44 now or 41 now. Whatever okay. The, whatever the, the, your current maximum is. Okay. Um, from there, we are going to make dexterity. I'm sorry. Uh, initiatives. Initiatives. Man, I am rolling like... Well, I'm not. I'm all over the map of my rolls, actually. So that's 18 for Rorik. Oh, hey. <laughs> well, it's going to be a fast fight, if anything, so... Jabu, you had a six for your initiative? Wait, I lied to you. Six. I got confused, I'm sorry. Really needed to hit him on that. Oh, Alright, Rorik, you are first.
first. All right. And uh, Rorik, with a bonus action, will go into a, a rage and just start, like, pumping his huge legs, uh, jumping over this. Do you require a roll for just jumping over five feet? No, you're you're moving at least ten feet, so you shouldn't have any issue uh, you doing it okay. as your move action. Yeah, yeah, and he will be able to get here and just starts taking swings um, at this thing. Uh, so I will be using Great Weapon Master, and right. I will be uh, I and I will be uh, swinging recklessly. Okay. Okay, so first attack. 24. That will hit. Okay, and I'm going to just go with the second attack just to get out of the way. And that will hit. And then 27. So, okay. So. So that's a plus. T. Kaboom. Kaboom. Nice. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. So that's 68 <laughs> points of damage. Great weapon master. Barbarian wow. time. Oh, wait. There's more. Wait. I forgot. Add six more to that. Okay. <laughs> because I'm raging. Raging, yeah. It so looks, that's... Uh, it looks pretty beat up. Uh, but... 40. 71. Yep, so after you do that, you hear him say something, and he utters some sort of word, and and the both of you are just almost dazed from the word that he said. I need you both, just Rorik and Tarek, to make a constitution saving throw for me. Twenty-seven. Rorik, you're not affected at all. Unfortunately, Tarek, you're stunned until his, the end of his next turn. So you can't move. You can only speak falteringly. Uh, attack rolls against you have advantage, and you automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws. Okay. From there, uh, Tarek, it would normally be your turn, uh, but you're stunned. Jabu, it is your turn. Uh, <clears throat> quick, quick and uh, spell, casting dispel magic on Tarek. The um, the thing that's on him is not magical. It's uh, it's a oh. uh, legendary oh. action. Oh, it's not a spell. Right. No, I'm sorry. Did I waste that spell or? Uh, I mean, we could just. Uh, uh... Oh, it's okay. If I did, I did. Let me do. Yeah, I would say right. I would say you probably did. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm going to continue on with uh, a cantrip. I'm going to cast uh, Fire Bolt. Um, twin casting it, so I'm using another sorcery point, and um, <laughs> I'm going to put uh, two Fire Bolts into the character. Alright, before um, that, uh, with, with your Dispel Magic, what level was it? Dispel Magic is a level 3 slot. I need you to roll a Constitution saving throw for me. 15. Alright, so the Dispel Magic just doesn't work. You're racked with pain. You're okay. going to take 11 points in Necrotic Damage. God damn. Yeah. Okay, write that down real quick. And then from there, uh, try, the, uh, try the Fire Bolt. Okay, so I write, uh, what? Same thing, pass. constitution saving throw. <clears throat> 21. That will go through. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, roll attack. Okay. That's the first one. That's the second one. I have a 21 and a 19. They will both hit. Uh, 29 damage. 
fire. If all there's anything, anything on him, he would uh, ignite. All of the um, fire damage hits him, and he falls to his knees and collapses, igniting and disappearing. When he disappears, Jabu, immediately you feel all that pressure from not being able to cast spells go away. Really? I just kind of smile devilishly as I punch my fists. Foul beast. Tarek, how do you feel? Um, I'm, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm still stunned. <laughs> but I, I took a, I took a beating. I took a beating on that. Um, but I, I guess if I come out of it, I'll come to my senses and, uh, I'll say, let, let's, let's get out of the way of any of these mirrors right now. And, uh. You know, with my hit point, Matt, do I know what happened to me? Like, So, um, if anybody does an Arcana check on you, they can tell what you're being afflicted by. And then uh, from there, just kind of whirlwind it from there. Yeah, because I'm just saying, I convey that I'm so like, I just feel weak. I'm like, I don't know. He, he, I don't know what's happening. Uh, Jabu, are you okay down there? Yeah, I'm just I feel weird. I feel I feel stronger in some way. Uh, but come oh, come here and can you look at Tarek and figure out what might be uh what magic befell him? Okay, let me just cover this mirror real quick. I'm gonna cover this mirror and I'm gonna take a look at it. I'll do yep. an arcana check. Twenty-two on Arcana. With your Arcana check, you can tell that Tarek has been afflicted by the harm spell. You know that after a short rest, he will feel better. Oh. I don't know if this is going to be the last thing to do, but we need to take our time out. Otherwise, it could possibly get worse for him. Okay, so I will go and cover this mirror here. Okay. And it seems if we could rest a little, if you feel that would help him, and I would say still hug the walls. Okay, let me just buy back a little free slot with my points. And I'll buy back a first slot. And... Oh, actually, uh, that mirror you were not able to cover. You were at 13 out of 12. That's okay. We'll still be. Oh, okay. Here. Still be able to this one we cover. We, well, long as we don't near, we should be okay. All right, let's take a long rest. Then. I lied. Yeah, I meant, yeah. I meant short. I meant short. Yeah. All right. I guess yeah, we're gonna have to take a short rest if you allow it. Yes. Uh, so you take a short rest. We're gonna fast forward. Uh, if you if you need to do anything during the short rest, go ahead and do so. You do notice that the beam does rip through at least twice in this area over here. It goes right through that hallway, uh, but is unable to get to you because of uh, mirrors that are covered. I'm going to go back for some of the covers. Okay, so with the short rest, I mean, are you doing that during the short rest or this after the short rest? After. Okay. So do I get I get my hit point maximum back? You do. Yep, you get your hit point maximum back. But do I? Am I still? I'm still at forty one. Correct. Right. So Tarek is gonna uh, drink a, a potion of greater healing. Okay. Either that, or if you want to use your uh, hit dice. I'm gonna use uh, that's true. Two more. Yeah, like, I'm gonna use the hit dice. The rare, mm. rare times you guys actually that do short true. rests. That is so. true. That's true. So I am going to. What am I doing? Twenty-five. Right now, I'll do. 
I'll do five of them. I'm gonna grab this one too, Ty. Okay. And then I'm just gonna head back. Sounds good. I think that's the most hit dice I've ever used. Once a trap is visible, you can just pretty much jump over it as long as you have at least 10 feet of uh, room. So, okay, just so cool. you know, it's it's. I'm not going to have you roll every time you jump over that. I do appreciate that. Um, I got two coverings. So I'll cover this one here. Okay. And I can use one. Well, it looks like we're at a... There's an intersection down there. Okay. Um, so we're out of coverings right now. Is that correct? I got one covering left. You have one left. Okay. So Tarek is going to... He's just going to quickly take care of this. So I guess that's just not there anymore. Yep. No. I'll roll for it just because... Let me adjust my... All right. Rorick, um, uh, Rorick, you can see recent burn marks on the walls in that hallway. Down the hallway, there were burn scorch marks on the walls. Okay. So I I come back and tell them. I say, look. I said I can get one more covering. After that, the mirrors beyond this corridor and where the rest of us are, are uncovered. So, unless we want to wait well, for a timing of a beam, and then I could I could possibly run back fairly far well, um, left, and grab I, more. I left the one, I left, all the, one over, the one over here, I left that one just in case. Yes, this one. Yeah, down this corridor. Yes, yeah, at the end. That, that's the one there. After that, the mirrors are uncovered that I can get a glimpse at. And well, we, we can take this one. That'll well, give it, give well I think we could grab the one one down here. We can grab all of these, so that would give us four. Grab them all. Or at least grab three and leave this one here as we move down the corridor. Definitely leaving that one there. Yeah. Because we'll be fried if we don't. Yeah. I'll take this one here. That gives us two at the moment. Right. So I'm going to run down, and I will I guess I'll take this one. And yeah, then right. run back. Um, it gives us three. Yeah. So that gives us, well, is a, f we had one, or no, we were out. So you had one, yeah, three. Yep. Um. So if you let me, if you want to let me just take a look, see, and just kind of do some searching for things. All right, um, all right so I'll just zip down this corridor and I'll just, I'll just quickly search for traps. Okay. Um, all right, you see. Traps right there. All right, so I will I will dismantle the trap. All right. And then I will come back and I will tell them, I'll say, all right, it looks to be a small chamber with a chest in between two mirrors that the mirrors are opposite each other running vertically. Um, and then there's I see a mirror down this corridor here as well. So I think we still have time, but... So I'm going to move on this side and then just keep searching for traps to okay. basically clear out this corridor. See it right there. All right. So I'll quickly dismantle that. You start hearing a beam start to charge. And I just, I just tell them. I say, make sure you're not near anything. I, th I say, I think I'm good. Or if you should hide in the corner. Yeah, I'm gonna move back down here. 
Tar hide. Yeah, don't run there. <laughs> if it hits me here. <laughs> oh, whoa. It's got to be for yeah. There's there's a mirror in angled in the corner, at the end of that corridor. All right. And it stops. All right. So I I just sprint back, and I'll basically move down here to and I'll take a look, see, and I see. All right. So I just come back and tell him, I said, all right, there's an, another room with another, it looks very similar to this room, but no chest, but then it has another corridor that leads off, I guess, to the, to the east. So we can either go this way or we can go down here. We'll just cover that, just cover that one for, for right now. Check for traps before I finish. Yeah, so I'm going to quickly, I'll just move down the corridor looking for traps. And then I will, uh, if I have a covering, I'll cover this mirror up. That leaves us uh, with one more cover. And then I'll step back. And as I come back, I just stop here and I tell them, I said, all right, I said, as this moves off around the corner, it leads back into the large chamber. Okay. What about and that chest yeah, from what I briefly saw, we may very well have to go get these other coverings if we're planning to do anything. Uh, there's two there's two mirrors in there, so just be aware of that. But if we go to the hallways where they have these angled mirrors, shouldn't we be able just to leave coverings on that and that would stop the beams from moving to certain to a lot of the areas I'm not I'm not entirely sure to be honest um in any case I'll I'll investigate this really quickly all right keeping my ears peeled for ears peeled for any energy buildup you do see that this seems to be tremendously trapped as well, but it's going to require, you see three golden leaflets, uh, which means it's going to require three checks with your thieves tools in order to solve this. All right. You, you see Tarek, Tarek kneels down and he, and he kind of cracks his, his hands and he says, all right, and rubs them together and said, this is what I do. You hear one, and it seems to not trigger anything, which is good. Yeah. And I kind of look at Jabu and Rourke, and I say, uh, you guys probably should move out of the room. Okay. You know. Just, I don't know, just so that if this thing blows up, I get hurt. Yeah. I will not run away from a box. I'm getting kind of antsy to kill that fucking. You hear, and you disarm the second golden leaflet. Mm. And the the chest almost opens automatically. Uh, you do notice something on the lid of the chest itself. Uh. Huh. You also find two potions inside that look a lot like the potions that uh, you found previously. Alright, good to know. So I, I just point out to to both of them, I said, look, I said, whether this is true or not, it does say the northeast corner of the temple hides the key to the flower. So, so that is where we have to go. Yes, exactly. 
or do you want to take on this beholder so we don't have to dodge his stupid beams no more? All right. Well, you said that... something earlier about the field. All right, here's my plan. I've been thinking about it while I was meditating. If I could turn the two of you into dragons, and you both sprint with everything you got, and ram the damn thing as hard as you can. Now, my magic of knowledge is going to tell me that that barrier is going to turn you guys back into a, from dragons into you. But the both of you are running <laughs> out of the field. And then from there, you hit that thing and you die. Not allowing it to get back. Um, not letting it go back into the, the, the field. Hmm. And I, I... Say that... go, go on. No, I was going to say, Jabu, do you, do you think that if we move him, that the the field won't move with him? Is it centered on him, like around him, and would follow him around, or or is it is? Do you think it it's it's fixed in that space he's in? You know, I don't know, but we gotta try something. Yeah. He's gotta pay for what he did, and I'm tired of running and dodging around these stupid covers. I know you two are. But you said earlier that the lady that came to you in your dream, if you got the flower, that would prove something to the Dragon Queen. So if we were to get the flower and you showed your fortitude for this, isn't a possibility you may see her once again and may ask for you and maybe she'll grant you a boon. Well, she said to me she was going to... We could do that first. Okay. Or we could attack this thing full on. I am just um, remembering what you said earlier. Either way, either way we're going to get both done. But I just figured it would be easier if we don't have to deal with the stupid thing. I'm, I, I, Jabu, I said, I think... I know this is very tedious, this covering thing. But I think if if we recover the flower, it may it may do something to weaken either the mirrors or the beholder or this place in general. Okay, okay. Because I, I mean would I know would or would any of us know that uh uh the energy of the flower, if something could, you know, basically feed off of its power, or if it could energize, you know, something. If it can, if it can do something with the, with the elixir. I mean, could it stand a reason that the it could also just it could feed power into this place or this beholder? I mean, it, obviously, uh, everything is kind of rumors and hearsay. Um, the the basing of everything is based off of a book that Beacon recovered from a sorcerer or uh, really a necromancer uh, from when you entered hell uh, behind the bathhouse. So the reality is is that uh, you're not sure. Um, even even he wasn't sure at the time exactly what what power this flower can hold just that it can enhance the panacea to grant the panacea uh, from just from not just from curing something but to actually giving a boon to the to the drinker the panacea equal to equal to what the uh, what the affliction was God. Okay, okay. I, I still think we, we get the flower. Let's get, let's get the flower. I'll follow you, Tarek. Let's go. Let's do All right. it. So, so we'll leave this cloth covered, and let's get the one up. Right. So, yeah, I was going to say, I'll just go up, grab the covering, um, and uh, 
I guess, yeah, that one's uncovered too. So we'll, uh, I think we, no, it's this way. Okay, and I tell everyone just to hold up. I said, all right, there's two mirrors here and there. Um, and I guess we saw the blast over we talking. I was going to say I was going to quickly search this room if I could. Just give a quick investigation. Sure. Okay. Yeah, the room just seems very bare. Um, a few scorch marks here and there on the inside. Okay, so then I'll just continue forward looking for traps. Okay, um, and... roll a perception check for me. Okay, you're going to see one right there. Okay, so I will, uh, I will dismantle it. It is gone. And then I will, I go, do we have a covering? I think we I should have two. So I could I, put I one, like put one here and let's, let's search the room. Um. Feeling like this is the room with the least amount of mirrors. This seems to be the safest room in regards to the beholder. Uh, but nothing here really lays of interest. There are a few beam beam marks on the walls themselves and in the uh, in the cracks and the crevices of the room. Okay, I guess I guess there's nothing here. I guess. So I guess we'll. Uh take the covering off and then hightail it through here all right and then i think we have to go that'll lead back to the beholder's room i don't know if we want to run straight across the corridor again and then i think we could well if we go back we, we, we can well, we went up through that top passage, didn't we? Yeah, but if you lead us yeah. back to the uh, to the right, we gotta go north. We're heading south, so we should head back uh, north and head to the right. <clears throat> but uh, we might have been able to grab more coverings and still head in that northeast corner, maybe. Well, well, that plus we already disarmed all the traps too. All right, yeah, I'll tell I, you. It doesn't matter. I mean, we would have to run yeah, through the room with the I beholder. No, no, I think that's a good way to go because we can grab the coverings. We know where the traps are. So like, let's do that. What, what Tarek said. Okay, I don't know how long it's it been in between blasts, though. So I move down and I will... I'm just going to step here. Okay. Um... And I, I just tell Jabu, take a step back one into that little corridor if I were you, my friend. Okay. So I say we time this when the beam blasts, because it's going to come through this corridor here. And okay. then if we want to just hightail it, we'll hightail it right through the beholder and I'll, and, and I'll run straight across, I guess, the room. Okay, we can... Gonna... Hear the crackling of the beam, and the beam goes through and stops right there from the covering. So I'm gonna start casting the uh, a spell called the Gift of uh, Elicity, and I'm gonna start uh, preparing as, as we're running. Okay. Okay. So I say, all right, let's do this, and I just I, you. I just take off. And as I'm going through this corridor, I'm going to slow down a little bit, and I'm just going to try and look as best I can search-wise. Okay. And then if it looks all clear, I said, all right, I look back, and I mouth to him. I go, I'm going one, 
two, three, and Tarek takes off in a dash. All right. And I'm still giving that thing the finger as I run by. You hear, I told you to leave! <laughs> and you hear beams going off. Uh, all three of you need to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Shit. Oh, that was oh wrong. God. That was wrong. Hold on. Oh, good. Okay. Jabu, Tarek with a 14. Uh, it's 15 for me. All right. All of you are going to get hit with a, well, possibly hit with a beam. Right? That roll determines the fact that you are going to be subjected to a beam of some kind. Um, so all of you will be subjected to a beam of some kind, and then we'll see if you pass the beam check from there. Uh, just give me one uh, second. Your dex check. <laughs> all right. Uh, first is Rorik. Make a dexterity saving throw for me, an additional one. Okay. Uh, 19. You pass. You recognize it as a, uh, uh, as the ray, uh, almost singe your buttocks. Uh, you see that the gray black death was behind it. You would have taken 58 points of damage if you failed that. So, just wanted to let you know what was going on. Um, in the meantime... <laughs> Jabu, I need you Yay. to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay, how much damage does it take? Jabu, you feel very, very different. And you feel all of your anger and hatred towards the beholder disappear. Oh boy. Tarek, I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. You pass. You would have been paralyzed. Oh boy. Jabu, you feel like a, like almost a beckoning uh, that you'd that you'd want to uh, socialize with uh, the beholder at this point. Do we do we see him? You could see there's there's he's acting very <laughs> different. I mean, he, he's he's very attracted to uh, you know he just wants to come out. Would I have been able to yeah. grapple him while he moved past me? Yeah, yeah. Knowing that he got hit with something. Yes. Yeah. You were the sexiest I think I have ever seen. <laughs> have you ever anyone ever played with your tentacles before? I got tentacles. I mean testicles. Perhaps we can tentacle together. I think they call that doctor. That's twenty three. That's twenty three on a grapple check. He's definitely grappled. You're gonna beat any any strength roll he, he makes. Oh my god. That was close though. Yeah. It was close. I mean, I rolled. I didn't roll that high, so it could have happened. I am, I am blown away with pressure. I need to see this. Shit, I'm I, coming um, for you. I I keep his. I I might. Gri I'm grappling him, but I'm holding his wrists. Um, because you know, I know he is a spellcaster, and I don't want him. It seems like this thing has control over him, so I don't want him to cast any spells until this wears off. So I grab him and I carry him along the way until he gets his wits. And I'm telling him, get your mind back, man. Remember, that is the enemy. That's a beautiful creature. What are you talking about? Have you about? forgotten? Huh? So I say to him, have you forgotten your your uh, your dragon queen told you to do uh, to find a flower to uh, do her bidding and gain her favor? That ain't, that ain't true. I ain't do all that. 
I I just walk over and I, I kind of step behind and I just kind of push them both. I, I say, we, we got to keep going. I say, come on. And I, and I kind of, right, so I'm, I'm trying scary. to push them down the hall. And so I I'm said, Jabu, we'll deal with you later. If we have to tie you up, Jabu, I will. That's a hell of a thing for you to say to me. You know, you, you'll, you'll, li you'll like it later. So start, I just keep. You start hearing the beam charging again. Yeah, and I, I'll run. And I'm still to, carrying him. Yeah, I run to here. If I have a covering, I will use it for this one. I, I believe you do. And yeah, and Jabu should be up over here with us next to the chest. Yeah, I, I'm, he's with me. I'm carrying him. the beam shoot out and just hits the covered mirror for a little while and then vanishes. All right. So it seems you can remove this covering because the one down there will not allow the beam to reach us now. Right. And I don't know where the hell all are. All right. We haven't gone through here yet, but all right. So, so I'll remember this one. Did we check this chest yet, Tarek? Yes, we did. And we searched everything off to the left, but I'm not seeing any of our... And I kind of run through. I don't see any of them covered if we took these or not. So I don't know how many coverings we actually have now. I don't know where they all went. At the bottom left-hand corner, you have left six coverings. At the bottom right-hand corner, you left two coverings. That's eight. And then south of you is the ninth. So you have nine coverings that you've used so far, and you have three left. So you're walking around with three coverings. Okay, I just don't see any clothes. I thought they were a lot closer. I guess not. Anyways, all right, we, we got to do with what we got to do. If if I have to start stripping off my own clothes, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> so, all right, I said yes. I, let, we'll move through, um, and I'm searching for traps as I move through this corridor. Okay. Um, still carrying a And I'm going to make the decision to, to go north. Um, again, still searching for traps. In front of you, Tarek, you see a portal that seems to be glowing yellow. Um, oh shit. I say, so is Jabu still, still under the, uh, beguiling, uh, big eye of the beholder? Jabu, are you there? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know. What, am I... I PM'd even... PM you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> to let you know exactly what's going on with you. Oh. I, I, listen. There's nothing wrong with that beautiful creature. It's I... Right. I want to stroke it. I, I, right. I say, okay. Uh, good to know. I, I look at Rourke and I say, okay, I was going to ask Jabu if if he could see uh, know anything about this. Um, so looking at this portal, I mean, is there energy flowing through it? Or can I see like just right through it to the back of the wall? Or There's massive amounts of energy there that's flowing through it. And you can see... You can see something very weird or interested that interesting that um, that is through the other side. Almost like there's a hidden part of this temple. Um, you're not sure what's going to be on the other side, but you feel like this is not just a one-way trip. That the, this is connected to another portal of some sort as well. All right, I I look at Rorik. I say I I don't really know much about these things. Magical, it doesn't matter. Say. I'm going I was gonna say. I said, let's just go. And I go. Okay, go ahead. And I, I let's go. make sure I got Jabu. I got Jabu, and we walk through the portal. Okay. 
Oh, hand me, Kerr. Where the hell are we? So you see stairs that seem to head down, and you see yourself in front of a, it, almost like you're you're out in the sand. You're not even sure where are you, where you are right now. You're almost like in a pocket dimension. Man. Hmm. Um. With the with the soul ripper in my hand, do I sense any creatures? Um, that aren't undead or constructs. You feel something um, from your soul ripper, and it feels heavy, almost like the whatever it is is just tremendously powerful. And I look at Rourke, I say, I understand you're a very powerful warrior, I said, but I am getting a very strong sense of power here. If something else is here that's probably stronger than all of us. So we need to tread very lightly. I will uh, follow this. I am not going to just run into danger like an oaf. If danger comes to us, then I will pursue it. Now, I see these stairs, and I also see this that over there, and, and Rourke points at. So what does this look like for uh, from that distance? Like a box or something? So the stairs, seem, the stairs seem to go down, but uh, past the stairs, let me just see what you see. Past the stairs, you notice that there's a symbol of, uh, of light of some kind that's a fairly large uh, piece. It seems to elevate from the ground a bit, and it just seems to be a, a, a large uh, stone tablet. You see there's a lot of broken broken uh, pieces and things like that. You see a few uh, skeleton heads and, and, and uh, pottery that's been that's been abandoned and things like that. Now, okay, so Tarek, I believe if you're, if you're getting a feeling of something powerful, it will probably be leading downstairs. Yeah, what, was Is it, it coming? Is checking out that box? I would say let's investigate what's up top first, because I was what I was getting a sense of Ted was from down the stairs, correct? Correct. Okay, so I just say yeah, let's just let's just check around up here first. I mean, I'm not ready to rush down the stairs just yet. And I grab Jabu. Jabu, who do you want to go to talk to now? What, what, what you mean? Do you still uh, think the Beholder is your friend? Yes, I do. So, uh, Rourke, like those slapping videos that you see, takes his big fucking meat hook and slaps the shit out of the, out of the uh, uh, grapple <laughs> goblin. <laughs> What the fuck did you do that for? Sense back to his face. Um, Sense! And I, of, I yeah. slapped the shit out of him. Because of that, Jabu, I'm going to allow you to make another wisdom saving throw, but I, Rorik, I do need you to roll 1d4 for, uh, for, your, for the damage. That was terrible, you son of a... <laughs> Jabu, <laughs> Jabu, you snap out of it. Uh, you realize that you were afflicted by a charm ray. Mm. But you're gonna take two damage. Rorik slapping you in the face. <laughs> I tell you right now, you big son you of a bitch. You seem awake now. I'll let you know right now. If you're gonna, you let go of me right now. When you go to sleep tonight, I'm gonna, fill up a, I'm gonna fill a pillowcase of oranges and beat the shit out of you. 
I said, Jabu, you you were you thought the beholder was your best buddy. So what? you you I were would never think of, that's the stupidest I, thing I ever heard. It is the stupidest thing, that but you were why I had to That's why I had to cure you of your uh of whatever days you were in. Yeah. So nothing personal, Jabu. Just was a necessary thing to do. And as you can see, we're not in the we're not in the uh, the temple anymore. That was the biggest stupid hand. My neck. Oh, he's so strong. I'm gonna sit down for a second. I think he knocked the shit out of me. Did I shit my pants? Fortunately, not. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. So. I guess we'll just start to search around the top here as I move towards the uh, the the symbol. Yeah, as you as you look closer at the symbol, it just seems to seems to be uh, you familiarized with a symbol for the te for the temple of Set, uh, something that Beacon has told you in the past, but otherwise you don't recognize it as uh, anything else. It seems like. Whatever it is, uh, the only entrance is probably going to be underneath the, uh, in the stairwell. So this is like wall, is this like a, uh, a finished wall or a, f or just a natural It's a finished, barrier? it's a finished wall. Uh, honestly, um, how, how it looks isn't the exact way of what it is. So, so the underground is on the second side of this map. Right now, all you see is desert. It's just sheer desert as far as you can see. Uh, the okay. walls themselves are just for the downstairs, but uh, it's just desert as far as you can see. And this weird purple kind of energy that you really can't understand or, or, or know what the hell is going on with it. Okay, so there's nothing down at, at this thing at all. It's just, you know, symbol, basically. Correct. Okay. I, I kind of look at Rourke and I said... You know, let's let's go back and get Jabu, and see if maybe he can sense anything from what's below. Cause there's, hey, Jabu. Yeah, I'm I'm a little mad still, but okay, what do you need? Yeah, well, I'm I'm getting a vibe off the st the stairs down of something fairly powerful down there. Um, I don't know if either one of you can sense it too. Arcana check, um, 21. You can tell that there's something very strong down there, uh, but otherwise, you notice that the symbol itself uh, that seems to be up here signifies something to you, uh, but you really can't tell what it is. Right. So I looked at them both and I said, nowhere's to go but down. We gotta go down there and say hello. You go down then. Let's face the danger head on. Yeah. I mean, I'm not doing nothing tomorrow, so. Alright, I'll move you up. Shot dark down here. So we come down and we see that same symbol in the floor. All right, I'm just actively, um, I'm trying to 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 search. I guess this little Alco we've come into. Okay. Right. You've never seen it before. It feels it feels like this whole room and this this whole temple is in, in trance with some sort of arcana. You don't really know what it is. It just feels very magical. Um, yeah. And, and and is there? Do I see this here? Uh, I don't know if I'm no, supposed to see that or not. No, it's it's supposed to be. Okay. All right. Got it. Uh, okay. So I look at that and I just said, all right. I said. 
I guess we'll just move here. And I'm just like, I'm looking for traps or anything. And I, I clearly see the sarcophagus in front of us, but. Um, should I roll investigation or, uh... Uh, you can roll passive investigation that will last you for the next 20 steps. Alright, 23 is what it's gonna be. So, yeah, I was gonna do, it was, yeah, do what Jab Jabu did and we'll, I guess, inspect this sarcophagus. The sarcophagus itself, as you inspect through it and look through it, you notice that most of its valuables are gone. The tongue has been cut out from the person's mouth, and the the body that's inside still, still seems fairly fresh. You recognize the body a bit as some sort of, sort of adventure or some sort of something that, that managed to make its way here. Oof. And there, there's nothing on the body. Nothing but death. But death and a missing tongue. Okay. Yes. I think we continue down, right? Yeah, let's keep playing. Sure. <clears throat> can you guys hear me? Yes. I can hear you, yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. I can't hear Tarek if he's talking. I'm going to go this way. Do we want to, um, Ted, do we want to take a br break and maybe see if, uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, let's Tara take can a get break. back. Exactly. Let's take a break. See if, uh, Tara can get back. Uh, we'll be back at, uh, it's 838, around 839. So, um, 855. So we'll be back at 855. Okay.
out of because you're just taking it's half damage no from everything except psychic. And there's so much, there's like, like you don't run into psychic that often. No, so it just it works out. And just like and that's like I was even thinking about taking tough because then that would pump my my HP even more so. So, but I, I can maybe wait to take that. But I also have a decent amount of HP, and when I'm raging, I can essentially just double my health when when I'm raging. So that's just you know, it gets ridiculous sometimes. But uh, I am thinking after this to possibly just go fighter, but maybe take a few levels of fighter and a few levels of rogue. Uh, and I'll figure out which one I want to like take three of versus two of or whatever. But I also might just go all rogue, you know, or maybe take one level or two levels fighter and then three rogue. Hello. Oh. Hello. 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 So if you guys oh. are ready, then uh, we'll rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're all good. We're gonna uh, head down this corridor here. Well, I guess there's a pool of water, I guess that is. It seems to be a pit, and the pit seems to be, uh, I mean, you haven't, you could never have seen the bottom yet. It seems to be some tentacles that are kind of, uh, uh, reaching out from the pit. Oh. Tentacles. Who's that? Yeah, I'm not going over there. I feel... I feel we should take or keep our distance from those tentacles until we know more of them. What is inside? But the pool the might pool. reveal something. Jabu, as you as you focus yourself clearly on the pool, you see something inside. You see a blade. <gasps> blade inside, huh? Well, I will let you know. <laughs> there, there, there seems to be a sword or blade or something in the water. Hmm. Some sort of blade. Yeah. I... So I go over what? to look. Yeah, why didn't you pick it up? That's a good question. Why didn't I? You know, maybe you guys rub it off on me or something. I, usually I just grab shit. So I, I look into the pool. I only heal that. <laughs> <clears throat> um so looking into the pool, is it is it like is it floating on top or is it like just submerged underneath? It seems to be submerged underneath. The pool doesn't seem to be uh the pool is fairly shallow. Uh just reaching in, you should be able to uh grab it. Can I can I see if there's anything underneath the water, like anything moving in the pool? If you want to do an investigation check while you uh, while you're staring into the pool, you definitely can. All right. You don't see anything really uh, moving in the pool, or anything that would uh, <clears throat> that would alarm you to putting your hand inside of the pool. Oh boy. All right, this, this is a bench against my better judgment. Well, I'll reach in and grab the knife or the blade. As you reach in, <laughs> something appears behind you. Blade seems to be something that when you move your hands through, it's ethereal. You see a, a being kind of appear behind you right here. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, do you want these again? Hello, how you doing? I'm good. Oh, we were gonna fall for this again. Every time we we do a weapon, one of these things pop up. <laughs> well, we were looking for a flower, not a weapon. That is true. Oh, so you're we're... looking for the flower. Yeah. Yes. 
Well, I have some good news for you. You're very close. Do you know how to get there? I do. Uh, so the door to the room will not open unless you take that weapon and put it into the slot into the door south of us. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll get the weapon. Jabu, when you put your hand through, uh, the the weapon doesn't seem to uh, to um, appear. Like it, like you, your hand just goes right through the weapon. No, oh, funny. I'm very small. I had to jump in. I'm swimming to the surface. Okay. I, <laughs> I can't. I can't get the damn thing. It, it, it ain't there. I, I look. Yeah, I look at Rorik and I just, I just say, I say, I think Rorik, I, I think you have to grab this blade. Um, as Rorik is going to grab the blade, I'm just going to reach over, and slowly, just stroke his backside, uh, inconspicuously, casting haste on him. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Rorik will attempt to. He looks at them kind of in a uh, acquisitive kind of look and he puts his hand to grab said sword blade Rourke or whatever is, Rourke, as you grab the blade the blade finally disappears oh you're one of the chosen huh? well that's good that's good that's good Well, none of you are as prideful as me, but uh, unfortunately, in order for you to get that sword, you're going to have to defeat me. So we do battle it. that. I goddamn knew it. Every time I just fucking want Well, Every here's time. what I, I will do. I am so prideful. I will give you, Rorik, I will give you a, a head start. All you have to do is hit me square in the chest, and he takes his hands and puts them behind his back and shows his I chest out. Good news, Doric. You get to hit him four times now, because you are fast. I look at them for any kind of look of, like, as if to not do this. But if I don't receive that, then uh, Warwick will take the challenge. And uh, with his bonus action, he will rage, and he will attack him. Okay. You will have advantage on every attack because he doesn't seem to be defending himself. Okay. So, uh, attack one. Uh, 30. <laughs> that will hit. Uh, should, should I roll all attacks or just, or did I have to hit him once kind of thing? Um, it's up to you on what your, how your character would react, but we can go through the first attack first. So I, I'll just I'll go with one attack first because he said to hit him in the chest. Uh, yes. Roll for damage. Yes. Okay. And I did not. So that's twenty nine points of damage. As you swing your blade to him. Uh, you notice that there's some sort of weird, weird shield that seems to appear. You suddenly realize that the same force starts to come back to you, and you take 29 points of damage, Rourke. Okay. Thank God for raging. 18. Yeah. Now, you're not being very nice. I mean, you know, you tried to attack me, and I tried to give you the benefit of a doubt, but I don't always have people attack me whenever I show myself as nice as I am. Are you sure you want to keep fighting me? I mean, you are the one that said to take a swing and offered no other conversation. You said we could not use the weapon to unlock the door, and we had to defeat you. I, that's true. Yeah, you're drunk. And I also hit you square in the chest. So, according to you, I won the battle. Well, as you can see here, there is no pain on my chest. 
we did that's not what you said. You should have moved out of the way. Yeah, we're leaving. This is done. Now, if you are going to just use your dark magics on me while I hit you, then I have no point on fighting you then. You are no warrior. You're no point to fighting. No point to fighting. Well, I've been here then, for over a thousand years. So why not I you say, that you've become dull in those thousand years? I, I I ask him, I say, are you are you the guardian of the flower? Uh, unfortunately, I guess in some essences I could be. But in others, I mean, you know, how 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 difficult it is to get a to get a uh, get a flower when uh, the person behind it is someone who cannot be killed. It's very easy, isn't it? Then we are. You are a wall. I am a wall. I suppose I am. Well, I tell you what. I mean, I don't think that you have the equipment to truly hurt me. So let's uh, let's let's answer a couple of questions, shall we? Since you're at my mercy, I feel not the other way around. Why? I, mean, I could drown you in that pool, but I will. I will listen to your questions. Well, that's very nice. <laughs> so, why should I allow you to have the flower? What noble? What? Uh, what are you going to do with this flower? Uh, we will use the flower to hopefully save my brother who has perished. Oh, what's happened here? The stupid beholder. And I look at I look to them. And Tarek opens up a opens up a pouch and and just basically shows some of the crumbled stone remains of Thorka. There is no soul in that pouch, so I feel that your friend is unfortunately gone. Maybe not forever, but you know, for some time. I I said you know Byzant. Belongs to a... You know Byzant. Unfortunately, the the amount of knowledge I know is from way back a thousand years ago when I was captured during the combat and brought down here. I know Asmodeus, and I know. That's pretty much all I know. And then uh, the mummy back there was someone who has been here fairly recently. Uh, that was fun. He uh, he couldn't really do anything for himself, so I decided to put him back there. Yeah, we saw well, that when he came now. in. Well, our friend and and so Byz Byzant has our friend, so. Ultimately, I guess the flower is so we can save our friend from this person. I see. Well, that's fairly noble. How did you get here? There's a portal out there. Ah, yes. We... The, the portal is connected to a temple, and the temple is hidden away between thousands of other temples. So how did you get here? Through the stairs? As much as I find you amusing, Goblin, I don't feel that you are answering my question among the realism that I would expect. Th that's impossible. I, I just... Listen here, I'm a very straight-up character, okay? You ask me a question, I'm going to answer it. You asked how I got here. I said through a portal. Then you want to know how I got here. I walked down a freaking staircase, and that's how I'm looking at you. I think he is looking for who sent your group here, and who su who summoned me here when Thorka fell. Oh, well, I I'm a simple person. I you got to ask me these kind of questions. I can't be for that. All well, I ask for is the truth, and then we can proceed. 
Oh, well, we, I, I, Tarek just well, says. This character uh, here. What does Tarek say? Tarek just says, uh, well, we have a contract. And a contract with this person brought us here. Okay, that is fair. I mean, you know, if, if your contract states that you cannot name him or her, then I understand that. And that's, that's enough information, I feel. My next question is, uh, what has two hands on its face but no arms? A clock? You're crafty, Jabu. Very <laughs> crafty indeed. You're very smart. Oh, thank you very much. My next question is, is did you have any of the potions that were available in the temple? Uh, do we have any or do we use any? Do you have any? I, I look at him with the Tarek, you know, devilish look and, and I just say maybe. All I'm asking for is the truth. That is how you will survive it. I'm not lying. If you do have one, I want you to hand one to me, please. So I, I look at the two, and I just pull one out, and I hand him one of the potions. You see him uncork it and look like he hasn't drinking anything like this in years. And you see him feverishly just pour the liquid down his throat. <sighs> well, you may not know this, but the water in that pool cannot be drunk. Neither by me or by anyone else. I haven't drank anything in over a thousand years, so thank you. I was the most parched you can imagine. And unfortunately, everything down here tastes like, uh, you know, terrible. And uh, I don't know if you tried to drink anything recently, but uh, there is something in that in that temple that changes all of your food into something else so it, you just simply put uh, cannot really drink anything except for that so thank you i was very 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 parched we can relate to that we've been drinking this terrible stuff up i think over a month now oh well you seem to be a very nice person so we can be on our way now no i, I have a few more questions for you Oh goodness! Okay. What else? Now, do the how many more of these questions lead to our outcome of you either allowing us to go past you with the with the key that you said sword, or us fighting? Well, the only way for me to give you that sword is for me to die. But if you have the means to kill me, then when I'm done with all of my questions, I'll simply let you kill me. However, if you do not answer my questions truthfully, and you don't commit some sort of trust, then you will show me that my pride is much more than yours, and you will fail, I assure you. Well, isn't that interesting? Go on with your questions, then. I mean, well, we don't want to kill you. We just well, want to find the flower and, and move along. I mean, I have no desire to kill you. Well, unfortunately, the only way for me to give you that weapon is for me to die. And the only way for me to move on with my life is for me to die. So it works out both ways, I'm afraid. Because you are a prisoner here. Aye, along with six others, but not here, as it were. Listen here, we just want to so... kill the beholder. We don't want to kill you, but if we have to kill you to speed this up, then... Well, I... well, hold on, everyone. Oh. If he is a prisoner here and we and it, there's a way to uh, free him, I don't believe anyone should be kept against their will, especially for a thousand years. And I'll I'll play your question game then. Ask me questions and I'll ask I'll answer them uh, truthfully then. 
well, then I must answer another. You know, what does a head and a tail can flip but has no legs? A coin. Oh, you are very yeah. smart. This is a very smart amount of people that are here. Well, I'll ask you one more, but I'm afraid I must attack you if you fail. If you pass, then I will be finished with my questions. I live without a body. I hear without ears. I speak without a mouth, to which the air alone gives birth. What am I? Wind. Little one, that is wrong, but that is only your guess. They have a chance. Oh, there it is. I will give you 30 seconds, and then I will sit on my rock. And uh, if you don't get it, then uh, I'm afraid I have to attack the only people that have gotten most of them right. Uh, let's do that, bro. Could you ask it? Could you say it again? I live without a body. I can hear without ears. I speak without a mouth, to which the air alone gives birth. What am I? I will give you a hint if you are willing to throw away one of your most prized possessions. The dust that you showed me, I want you to throw it into the pit. Thorkaba is he is more than just dust and rocks, Tarek. And I he would not uh, he would not mind if it uh, would save his friends. I got it. I think I have it. I'm not sure. Um, I will walk up at what this this is the pit here. It's right here. Oh that oh that are, are these tentacles still coming out of the pit? Yeah, they're they're like slowly slimy. They're not reaching out, but they're 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 visible. I think I have the answer. Time is up. I, I think I have know. a. I, I'll let. I have a guess, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I I I try to. Uh, I walk over and I try and do a. Uh, I don't dump all of it. I kind of grab the bottom of the pouch and I dump some of it in, and I I try and do that little stealth move to keep some of it. Uh, Tarek, would you do you have a guess, or would you like me to guess first, and you still have a chance in case I'm wrong? Because I'm not sure if I'm right. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm right either, but and Tarek, do a deception check for me. All right, he doesn't notice that you don't dump all of it. And then I, I just I just walk back and I just stand in front of him, and I'm like, "Well, well, my hint for you is that when you are loud in a cave, you ah. 
will okay. probably this this hint will probably make more sense at this point. It's an echo. You are the it's first. An echo? You are the first people to solve all of my riddles. Well, with that, thankfully I am saved. So, I am assuming if you have come this far that you have some sort of weapon that has been crafted by the gods, hopefully. Uh, my brother's weapon here in my hands was. Ah, very good. Well, with that, I will uh, show you how to truly defeat me. I am afraid that uh, I must then say my goodbyes, and uh, you know, this is sad, but it is good for me. You know, I will, uh, I've lived a, I've lived a life of sorts. Well, it seems to me that your death will now free you from your shackles here. And uh, no, no one should be held by shackles, so I hate to say this, but I do like you, and I will now I'll give you your release. Well, I appreciate that, and uh, I will say that uh, for for once, uh, I did not kill someone that came down here. So, you know, we are we are very even in that sense. Uh, and I hope and I wish you well. You have proven to be the one that is more prideful than I. He puts his hands out, and you can see a gigantic orb appear. This is my power. This is my shield. If you all attack me at the same time and destroy me, then you will be fine. However, I'm going to warn you now. If you are unable to kill me, then all of your attacks are going to come back at you. I can only hold the shield back for one, for one second. So you must all time your attacks. I say good luck. And he's he's holding his hands out, keeping the shield at bay while uh, while he's waiting to be attacked. Okay, so alright, am I still under the hay spell? Uh, I would say how long does the hay spell last for? A minute? A minute, yeah. Um, I would say no. Because that definitely yeah, it's been more than that. Okay, that's fine. So, okay, so Terra, you you would get into position for sneak attack because that's going to be your big thing. He's not undead, so you can use your big sword. Um, Wait, so we have, we, can, have, we have to kill him. We have to kill him in one round. So, all right, let me. Jabu, uh, whatever, I'm going to cast. What what would be your best? What would you be your best magics to do damage? What I'm going to do is I'm going to cast, uh, I'm going to use uh, my twin cast, and I'm going to twin cast uh, haste on both of you. Okay. And okay. then what I'll do from there, I don't know what my best attack would be. Let me just double check. Yeah, take the chance to look because we gotta do as much damage on him as possible. I mean, for what it's worth, I was gonna try and have the sword cast haste on me, but that's not a guarantee because the sword may not want to do that. Well, he, he already did it. Okay. We can always take another short rest or something afterwards so he can re help regain something. Good. And then, uh, I guess in this preparation, Rourke will do another rage. Okay. Um, could I have time to uh, use one of the tattoos and call familiar? You can, uh, if you if you want to do that. 
uh, literally the only thing we're waiting on is just Jabu trying to figure out what spell is the most is the strongest. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I I just call the Paz out. Okay. I'm gonna use one of the. Notation pad. Yeah, I'm doing that for advantage, so at least on one. Jabu, are you ready? Maybe we lost him. Uh oh. Or maybe like he had to run and do something with the kids. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe. kid mayhem. Do we wanna do we wanna maybe just start the round and he would go last? Yep, you can do that. Okay, so um, I'll go uh, I guess we're not really an initiative. Uh, I'll go first then. Okay. So uh, Warwick is hasted. He is Raging. Uh, does haste also give me advantage too? You could tell that you have advantage on your attacks just because he's not oh. blocking the blows. Oh. Okay. That's right. Okay. And he's also going to do great weapon master. So. All right. Okay. So uh, I'm going to. Okay, already go. So first attack with advantage is a uh, natural twenty. Oh, all right. So uh, I'm I'm just gonna do all four attacks and just see how many hit. So first attack hits with a crit. Second attack misses. Third attack uh, another natural twenty. <laughs> that's two crits. Uh, wow. And uh, the last attack. 18? Uh, the 18 will miss. Okay, so I two attacks out of the four hit, and but both two attacks are crits. So I will now do that. So. One, two. And uh, Rorik, if you could move to me after you're done beating them up, that'd be great. Sure. Okay, so uh, this is the first crit attack. This is, uh, let's do this. 49 points of damage. Jesus. And then this is the second one. 56 points of damage. All right. And then he's gonna, and then work will then move. You see that the, that the ball that is in front of him seems to be uh, cracking when you hit him. But it's also turning a color, as well. And the co it seems the ball seems to be almost halfway full. Okay, up to you guys now. So Tarek, you have two attacks. I All right, I will. Uh, I'm going to with the first attack or the first uh, action. I'm gonna uh, do booming blade. Okay. That will definitely hit. Uh, so, 38. All right. With the, with the first one, and then second attack will be, it's just a straight attack. Um, so, 28. That will hit. And that'll just be 14 piercing. Okay. The ball looks about 75% filled with uh, red. <clears throat> Jabu, you it is your turn. Wait, 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 Tarek, in your offhand, is there a light weapon? I, uh, no. 
Close there's, the phone. there's, it's not, I can't, yeah, I can't do, I have uh, both my rapiers up. Alright, I need you to, to move away from him, please. So, I will move. i take your button. And he comes with me. Alright. Uh, I'm going to uh, yeah. quicken. So, we're going to take two sorcerer points. We're going to cast it at fourth level. We cast Fireball. I'll cast it right here. That way, it burns just this guy. That'll be 96s. And it's not, it doesn't do any saving throws because it's not trying to, uh, trying to dodge it. <clears throat> he is a uh, small or medium character? Uh, he's medium. We'll also throw in, no, I won't, not yet. Okay, uh, 96s. 40 damage. You see that the ball is almost completely full. I will cast uh, Fire Bolt. I'll uh, twin cast it for one sorcerer point, and I'm going to add uh, Fury of the Small onto it. So I have advantage. He's just taking it. Yep. Right. And right, that so will hit. Twenty-three to twenty-eight. Yep. Second Fire all right, so 20 and 25. And that will hit. So it's 2 d Whoops. Eighteen for the first fireball. And 19 for the second fireball. For a total of 34 damage. start getting very nervous but as the second bolt hits the ball shatters into a million pieces and you see him smile and start to disintegrate and disappears Whew. that wasn't a plus one huh he was a nice guy Well, he wanted out of this place. I'm yeah. gonna grab this. Jabu, as you grab the sword, it doesn't seem to. Uh, your hand seems to go through it again. You kind of, you kind of go through the impression that the person who has to touch the sword right now is just the person who was able to physically touch it first. Oh well, then you. Uh, the, the, the I big... will uh, go and grab it then. So, uh, uh, Rorik goes and grabs the sword. As so this you, is the yep. key. As you grab the sword, you feel that it's very, very strong. Well, this is indeed a, a mighty blade, but if it's our key to getting the flower, then we will use it as that. <clears throat> So now we have to figure out where to go. And with your passive insight, you remember him saying that it the the door is to the south. Okay then. Where do we go south? Oh. Maybe it's back outside. No. Or we have to go back around. We're going to have to go around these stupid tentacles. I guarantee. It didn't recede after, uh, I guess it was pride. Uh, they were, they're still kind of uh, floating out. Uh, you're not sure what would happen if you touch it. I'm going to go touch it. Okay. Roll a wisdom saving throw for me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
20. You pass, but you kind of step back, realizing that <clears throat> the tentacles were, <clears throat> excuse me, the tentacles were uh, almost pulling away a memory of yours that was precious. Do I know what it was trying to pull away? You don't, but you certainly don't want to go through that oh. again. So this beast in that pit, it does something to you. It tries to take something precious from your mind. So I do not know, but maybe there's another way of crossing. I think we should go around, back around and see if there's another way. Um, so looking around, do I see another way of crossing? You don't. Um, for the most part, all you see is that pit. And this is wall, right? That's a wall, yep. Hmm. Javu, if I tie a rope to you and hold it sturdy, would you attempt to just see if there's anything invisible that we're not catching? Something we can't see with our regular eyes um, that could be a way of crossing this pit. And if you were to fall, I will. you are small enough where I will be able to hold on to you. Unless, Tarek, you would use your bird to test. Yeah, what if you, what if you touch, uh, yeah, I was going to say, what if the sword can get rid of these things? How far across is this? Ah, you are correct. It, it, they did say it was a key. So I'll take the sword out, the, the, the one I got out of the pool, and see if this creature reacts to it as I kind of, you know, show it off in a more pronounced way. The creature itself seems to be very, very uh, deterred from your weapon. Like, it doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Hmm. I, I have an idea. It seems to fear the blade. I have an idea. Okay, then. I'm, I, I need help, though, over here. Down by the pool. I'll walk, I'll walk over. I can teleport over the other side. Um, just throw, throw me the rope when I get over there. I'm going to cast Misty Step, which is one of my free spells, and just teleport over here to the side. Sounds good. Okay, and then t toss me a rope over here, and I can try to secure it. Yeah, how high is the ceiling? Okay. Uh, the ceiling is about 20, 20 feet high. Rorik, as you stand there, you you personally can only see um, something that is, that is uh, currently in front of you. It seems to be floating in place. There, there is a stepping stone that has appeared. Oh. Uh, Rorik will step on it. Okay. As you step on it, you see another stone that is in front of you. Tarek, come with me. So, I'll follow. Can he, like, come on spot with me? Uh, it's and really... And I will, like, go to... Well, it's really, uh, it... Every stone, for the most part, can only have about one person on it. Um, the only person who can physically see those stones are you, Roar. Uh, okay, okay, so I will I will step across again, right, going up, and then I will, Tarek, trust me for a moment, and then I will pick him up and piggyback him on me. Okay. Oh, no, I need what the a, hell? I'm going to need an athletics check. 
Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out of the way. Twenty-two. You don't have any problem picking them up and bringing them across the stones. Yep. So piggyback one, piggyback two, and we're here. And then I will let him off uh, my back. All right. And I will uh, have a Paz dissipate into the pocket dimension and then just reappear. I call him out again on the other side. Sounds good. I didn't want to fly. Uh, I'm still here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Oh. Yep. And Jabu, you I... see the door in front of you. I think I found a way to put the sword. Are you guys here? I'm coming. I think this is it, the uh, door here. Do I see, like, uh, some sort of slot? Or a, a place where it looks like the sword would fit? You do, but you do see that wherever you put that sword, it is very likely going to destroy the blade. Do I know what the sword does? You have no idea. Oh, okay. No, then it's it's fine. We're we're here to get something that could help that could help Thorka either regain his life or at least regain his soul. So I put the sword in there. You want me to do a, a, a con check real quick? And so as right before I put it in there, I'm, you you can, if you'd like to. 17. You feel like the sword has some very special properties that have to do with luck. You'd have to spend some more time to examine it, uh, but you, it feels strangely powerful. Well, I understand that this is a powerful relic, but it doesn't matter. We have to uh, get this flower. And I look at both of them. Are you, do you follow this? I, I, I say, well, do the slots look like they would take any anything? Or it looks pretty much it's, it's this sword fits the bill. With your passive insight, you notice that the slot itself has a gem that is above it that matches a gem that Rorik you see on the hilt of the blade. And that is kind of like your indicator of that's where that blade goes. Um, you're not sure what would happen if you put another blade in there. Maybe nothing, but maybe you would damage the blade. You're not sure. No, I was just thinking of if it maybe we, we sacrifice something else, maybe less powerful, but I don't know if that is such a good idea. No. We don't we don't have an attachment to this. It's we have the attachment to Thorka, and if the flower could help him, that's what we need. It's true. I go no. put the sword in. And I put the sword in it? As you place the sword in it, you hear like this gut wrench into your into your stomach type of feeling, and you you see the the hilt of the blade just kind of fall onto the ground and melt into the ground itself. And you see the door slowly rise. You hear while it's rising. And I uh, step in. You notice that there seems to be a flower that has bloomed in the middle of this gigantic circular room. Allow me to get the flower, please. 
I uh, I mean sure. I mean we should should we check the room first? <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, can I give, like, a yeah. quick search of, uh, I guess the sarcophagi? Sure. So, to you, Tarek, the sarcophagi have been here a very long time. Uh, you, they, it just looks like dust and, and black slime inside. Nothing alive, you, you can assure yourself that. Um, anything more, you'd really have to do a deep down look into each one if you wanted to open them up, but they just seem inert and something that's been here a very long time. Yeah, so I kind of just relay that to those guys. I said, I don't know if we want to open these up or... I say, let the, if this is... Let the dead rest then for now. We, we came here for a flower. Right. Uh, Jobu, take... Uh, take the flower then. Just be careful. <sighs> okay. Tiamat, I think I've done it. I reach out and I grasp the base of the flower and I gently pull up. As you pull the flower up, you suddenly have a flash in your mind and the dark lady seems to come to you once again. How the hell is someone like you able to do something like this? Well, I'm not alone. I got friends. Well, no matter. A deal is a deal. And Tiamat said that if you focus on her again, she would be more than willing to help you on your quest. So, I say good luck to you, Jabu. And she gives wait, wait, wait. You... Before you go, I have a question for you. Sure, I will, I will humor the question. How do I destroy an anti-magic field? <sighs> do you a mean... beholder is inside one. Yes, and I, need I, to get I am watching you. It is not difficult for me. I mean, you know, it's it's think think to yourself. But... So you want me to help you with the beholder? Is that what you're saying? I wasn't asking for help. I was just asking, how do I get rid of the field? But if you were able to do it for me, that would be a wonderful help. I want vengeance on him. Uh, so you crave vengeance, destruction. Well, I love that. You took a friend from me. Yes, 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 yes. I know where he is now, and he's not happy. But regardless... Uh... But he ain't happy. Well, that's a terrible thing to tell me. Well, while you kill him, think of how much he's being turned into a dark soldier for Bison. And meanwhile, while you're there, killing the Beholder, those little flasks that you found, those potions, maybe if you throw one of them at him, it will help. That is as much as I can help you with, Jabu. Thank you, Dark Lady. I will, I will not let you down. I guarantee you. Otherwise, your friend is turning into a dark knight. And believe me, when you find him, he won't remember you. So, I hope you're prepared for that. Can I stop that? And she vanishes from your mind. I get... Son of a bitch. Time reverts to normal, and it just seems like Jabu has been staring at something for 15 20 seconds as he has the flower in his hand. Do you feel alright? Did the flower do anything to you? I got some terrible news. They, they torture and talk up. 
they there. Be, what? They're torturing him, and they're making him into a dark soldier. He ain't happy. And we're gonna have to probably kill him. And I don't want to fight him. He ain't gonna remember us. I swear, this is just the hold is gonna pay. I guarantee. Do you still have one of those potions? Yeah. Well, we can throw it at that son of a bitch and take down his stupid force field. All right. Now let's go get him. Yeah, and then we'll we'll figure out something with Thorka, but the task at hand is clear and close. Turn into a dark soldier. Maybe we can stop it. We don't know yet. I'm gonna put the fire away. Save, save your rage for a target. A Let pepper. it burn in you until it's time to explode. Now let's go and find the beholder. I have a target. You coming? Oh, so uh, out of game, guys. Do you want to take another short rest? before uh, going to the Beholder? Yeah. Or do, do you want to wait until we get back into the temple and find a room, take a short rest, and then fight him? Do a short rest well, here. I'd, I'd personally rather take a short rest here because there's no blasting yeah, beams. Th this, is, this is a pretty safe place, I think. Here, uh, so right, do you want to do that? Yeah, you guys, could, you guys could take your short rests here. And then I'm not gonna have you like uh, uh, roll a bunch to to go over the stones again. I mean, you guys know what you're doing. So um, if you want to take your short rest here, um, do it. And then I'm gonna shift you back yeah. over to the other uh, map. All right. Um, I think that's uh, the right thing to do. Oh yeah. Uh, thing starts. I'm going to uh, take my, my remaining five sorcerer points. I'm gonna buy myself a. Uh, Level three slot, and then I'm gonna use some hit dice to give myself full uh, life. Okay. And uh, I guess after the short rest, I'll have uh, all my sorcerer points back. Nice one on that. Uh, <laughs> one on that hit die. It's okay. It gets me way uh, above. Uh, it gets me to maximum. So that's gotcha. that's what matters. I probably didn't need to roll four, but I was like, eh, let's not take a chance yeah. on it. All right. When you All guys right. are ready, I'll shift you back to the uh, temple. I'm ready. Let's do it. Here at the top right corner. Oh. Like, where the hell are we at? Oh. <laughs> ah, I found us. <laughs> yeah, it's always so zoomed out. Zoomed in. Okay. We need to find our way back and not sustain damage from. The uh, um, the beams, but I am curious about the mirrors now. I'm curious if the mirrors were tied are tied to the beholder, or if they were tied against uh, uh, pride. It seems well, we, to be we, similar magic. Yeah, we could wait here. I just want to try something. See. Well, I'm going to uh, attempt to attack the mirror again. And see if okay. this time I can break it. So let's try that. Twenty-two to hit. You slam your weapon against the mirror, and the mirror itself does not seem to be swayed. 
If you boys are ready, mm. we run straight down this hallway and we hit him. We ready to throw his potion at him? Okay. No, down, there's the stuff. How many potions do we have And now? One. We got one. We only have one left? No, we have we have four left. Okay. Do well. we each want to hold one? So we have chances? Yeah, right. absolutely. I think everybody should have one. Mm -hmm. All right. So as soon as one of us is successful, then we just full-on attack it. Well, I say what we could do is if I have both or whoever can do the, the best, I guess, throw it at them, throw the extra, and then the other we have on our person in case somebody or you know somebody else needs it. And well, just hope we hit with that extra one first. Well, if we can hit with it once, that's good. We also just have to watch out. We don't know if this is the kind of thing that will cause him to be weak throughout a whole battle or for partial and we have to keep using it. So we have to be ready and watch for signs that um, we may not have to throw to him again. But yes, let's be off and, and end this. Uh, lead the way. You start hearing the roar of a beam once again. And as it travels, you see that it stops right where you still have a cover on a mirror. Go. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Tarek clicks the boots of speed. And as he's, he's, he's following them down the hall, he's talking to the sword. And he says, now's the time to give me a little boost if ever there was one. They're in a throw. Do I hear anything for happen or anything happen with the sword? No. <laughs> uh, you, did you see me roll? No, I didn't. I didn't see. Oh, you. I just I, right. I roll for it. So it's uh, I rolled a okay. 14, uh, D100. The uh, Is that right. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The beholder, the beholder looks at you all and says, What did I say to you? You're going to die with your friend. My name is Jabu. And I'm telling you, you ain't ever going to forget it. I guarantee. Then it's time for you to die, Jabu. And... and Tarek will hurl the potion at him as he's talking to Jabu. All right. As you hurl the potion, the potion lands on him, not paying attention to you. And you see the the aura disappear. And as soon as that happens, Rourke will just in a scream and just run at him swinging the blade and going into a rage so because he's prepared for you guys to fight we're gonna roll initiative um and then we'll go okay. from there <sighs> 19 from rogue Jabu have for initiative. Solid D8. He's got an 8. That's a big 8. It's a big 8. <laughs> it's a big eight. I got a 15. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wow, you have a pretty low initiative, man. You like that, right? <clears throat> oh, no, I casted City or whatever a while ago, so it lasts 8 hours. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, so I got a 15. Yeah, right gift of alacrity. Right. I was gonna hope it would be higher than that, but all right. Tarek, you are first. All right. Uh 
Tarek is just going to go. He's in unison with uh, a Paz, and they will fly in together, and just he will do the help action, and I will do Booming Blade. Okay. However that works out. Um, all righty. Unfort uh, no, you do hit. Oh. You do hit with an 18. Yeah, and it is advantage, so I guess I would just roll again just to see if I crit it. Oh, and I crit. Nice. Yeah. Fucking sweet. All right, so... He's gonna take 19, 28, and that isn't so good. All right, so 33, so 52 piercing and nine uh, thunder damage. All right. And then I will, uh, uh, a Paz does the, the fly out. And I think that gets some gear, I think. And that'll be all his moves. And I I just I move back down the uh uh Yeah, I'm just gonna move right here, I guess. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll uh, end my turn. At the end of your turn it's gonna do a legendary action. Of course it will. Uh, it is going to target you since uh, since you hit it. I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw for me. Mm -hmm. Oh man! All right, you're gonna take 48 force damage from its disintegration ray. Uh, okay, do evasion on that since it was a dex. Yes. Yep, you haven't used any reaction yet. Right. So that was... Nearly da, 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 da. Yeah. Alright. Alright. From there, Rorik, it is your turn. Okay. Like I said before, he is going to charge at him. And he went into a rage when he screamed. And he is going to attack the, the beastie with a great weapon master, and he's going to attack recklessly. All right. Okay. So first attack is 24 hits. That will hit. And second attack, 24 will wait on. Yeah, 24 will hit again. Yep. Okay. So, okay, first attack damage, 36 points of damage, and then 34 points of damage. So that's a, uh, 70 points of damage altogether. Sounds good. Uh, that is the end of his turn. A legendary action. It's going to uh, go ahead and shoot a beam at Jabu. And Jabu, you need to succeed in a constitution saving throw. Uh, So that was huge, Jabu. You realize that you shook off a paralyzing ray, which would have forced you to basically skip your turn. I'm Jabu, pissed. instead, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, Jabu's going to slap his hands together, like clapping them, and hold like he's praying in front of him. And massive amounts of energy is going to swirl around him. Uh, red, purple, blue, all these different colors. From the amount of emotions he's feeling right now and then i'm going to go ahead and uh i'm going to spend two sorcerer points 
for Quicken. Uh, casting uh, Haste. So we're going to bring that down. So it's a level 3 spell. Um, we're going to cast... No, I'm sorry. Not Haste. Excuse me. Slow on the Beholder. All right. And you need to roll a... Though, right? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a. I believe it's a deck saving throw. Let me just double check real quick. Takes six seconds. Uh, slow. It is a. Wisdom saving throw, yeah. Wisdom saving throw, you have to be the 20. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, <laughs> fuck me, right? All right, so. <laughs> All right, well, with that said and done. Now it's really now really off. mad. <laughs> now you really pissed me off, you son of a bitch. All right, so I'm going to spend another sorcerer point to twin cast um, uh, Firebolt. I'm just casting it twice, and I'm going to add uh, Fury of the Small to it. So let's see what we get here. Attack once. That will and hit. Second attack. That will super hit. <laughs> really made me mad. Okay. Uh, I need 2d10. Uh, plus 9. Twenty-one and twenty-three damage to you. It looks very weary, but it is not dead. Um, movement. <sighs> uh, no, it doesn't matter because the beans will get me. More. No, I'm gonna. Uh... Nope, just, just, just there I am. I'm done. Uh, it is going to use a legendary action. And it's going to shoot you, Jabu. Uh, I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw for me. I hear, I hear eight's a good time of year to do that. <laughs> you feel uh so you feel charmed by uh by him oh, oh, no. he is a sexy son of a bitch oh, no. and then he looks at rorik he looks like he's ready to uh annihilate you rorik uh he's going to he's going to use uh his magical eye rays at random uh at you Let's see what the rays are. Two, ten, and seven. So let's start. Uh, two is uh, roll a constitution saving throw for me. I'm so jealous he's giving you a lot of attention. I love him. <laughs> Give me the attention. Uh, so 22. Oh, thank God you passed that, or else you were fucked. Uh, let's go with uh, ten. Uh, roll a dexterity oh, saving throw for me. Not ten. Oh, God. Not fucking ten. Oh man. Well, he would have automatically failed ten if he failed two. Seventeen. That's a pass. So you dodge the paralyzing ray, and you oh. dodge the death ray, and then I need a wisdom saving throw for me. Five. You suddenly fall asleep where you stand. I sleepy. And then from there, Tarek, it is your turn. Um, how is this thing looking? It looks pretty beat up. All right, and he's asleep, and he's charmed. Okay. Fuck it up, sea bass. <laughs> I don't know whether to do this or not. Um. All right, I'm I'm just gonna see what's happening to my friends, and and uh, Paz and and Tarek just fly in and do their attack. 
All right. And hope that uh, roll twenty is kind and merciful, God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hit. All nice. Right. Uh, not that great. <laughs> not that great. So 12, 25. Total with booming blade. That's still up. All right. Um. Yeah, and I'm going to have a Paz will fly over to here, I guess. And I am going to, uh, I'm going to dash. So one. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I could shorten this up. I'm just trying to get, if I see if I could get to one square, either here or either here. I think I can do it. I just didn't have it right. The, it, it would be 60. So if you can move 60, you're good. Yeah, 60 will get me roughly there, I guess. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so that's what I will I will dash over to there. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's it. Um, Shit. <sighs> well, I knew it. All right. Uh, Rorik. It is your turn, and uh, fortunately, um, no one has attempted to wake you up, so you are still unconscious. Oh. Fucking... I was hoping the owl was going to wake me up. <laughs> I thought that was the play, but it just didn't happen. Yep, that was the play. I didn't well, I didn't know. It. I didn't know an owl could actually try and and do that. Well, why not? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Just start, start clawing me. Give him a good snuggle, uh, you know? I, yeah, I mean, I didn't know the familiar would be able to do that. Eh, whatever. Eh, yeah, it's sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, you know, whatever. Now, now you know for next time. Yeah. When I make my next character. <laughs> <laughs> Jabu, it's your turn now. <laughs> do me a favor. Uh, Roar, could you roll 4 D6s? Uh, can you roll 4 D6 again? I'm going to run straight up and give him a hug. A big old fireball hug. Uh, you can't actually do any... Uh, so when you're charmed, you can't do anything that's harmful abilities or magical effects against him. Oh, I was doing it against myself too. Um, okay. Am I able to tell that I'm charmed? You know that there's definitely something wrong with you, and that there's for some reason you have a preconceived notion that this guy is your friend. Uh, but... I would like to try to uh, quicken spell, and using two sorcerer points, bring down a four, and I would like to t attempt to dispel this this feeling upon me. Okay. What level uh, did you um, cast that bad boy? Uh, what level's charm spell? Third. Third level? Yeah. Oh, so then it's off me. Yep. Okay. Uh, with that said and done, I will uh, proceed to attack you. Now I'm even more furious that you, you did that to me. Um, yeah. We're going to cast... Uh, yeah. I'll spend a sorcerer point, bring it into three, and uh, I'm going to cast off Freezing Ray. Okay. All right. One is going to go to 
the big old eyeball guy. The other one is going to go over to uh, Rourke. Okay, that'll definitely wake him up. All right, so we're going to have to go plus 15. All right, first one's eyeball, second one's York. Uh, yeah, so uh, that will definitely hit Rorik. Uh, any attack roll against Rorik has advantage, just so you're aware. I'll, I'll roll again. Okay, I rolled uh, a 1 on, on this, again, for York. Okay. So a 31 against York. So it'll be 10 damage to the, uh, the eye and 8 damage to York. And then both of them lose 10, 10 feet speed. How do you want to kill the Beholder? <laughs> um, the ice that I, that I form, I want to form it into an icicle as thin as I possibly can. And when I launch it, I want it to, since I'm a side attack, I want to try to rip its a fucking eye out from the side. And uh, when the icicle lands over here, I want to uh, have the eyeball like impaled on this icicle. <laughs> and nice. That's, and that's exactly what happens. It falls to the ground and lies dead. And now anyone that comes in here, they can see, see the pierced eyeball. Does uh, Rourke wake up? Uh, you wake up from the damage, yeah. Yeah, so when he wakes up and kind of like he feels that cold bite, and then but then when he sees the dead uh, uh, beholder, he just kind of like raises both arms and just like in a victory kind of uh, nice. you know yell and looks at the uh, the goblin who's like just after casting a spell, he can see who like did the finishing blow, and he's like, "You did it! You focused your rage and you killed your enemy." I told you, I guarantee. Now let's get out of here. We gotta find Thor, Thorka. Uh, before Rourke goes, he cuts a, a, a stock as like a, a, a trophy. Like one of the smaller like eye stocks or something like that. <laughs> so he just, that's all. He just cuts off one as a trophy. And then uh, follows um... Tarek, is there anything you want to go and back to some of those chests and get some of those things? There, you know, it is treasure. Or are we done here? We have time um, now. That we, go, we don't have to fear this beholder anymore. Yeah, Tarek is just removing some of the beholder's teeth. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, there is something I want to go back for. Well, I want to go back for all those well, gems that were. Those were yeah, three thousand dollars. Uh, gonna like take yeah. like some of the cloth and reform a sack, and I like we can go back to all the chests and just kind of fill the sack up because he can carry it all. He's strong enough to carry all the like all the uh, the weight of this treasure. So we'll do that then. I'm just gonna yeah. I'm gonna wait off front for you then. I'm tired. I really so yeah, we go it. around to all the chests that we open and just pile up all the treasure all right as you keep collecting treasure from all of the chests you start to slowly feel almost almost like the weight of the world is upon you um the more treasure that you gain the stronger the 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 heaviness feels and uh, you're not sure what that really means a physical heaviness or like a heaviness of like the spirit almost a heaviness like of the spirit Hmm. And then as he's like kind of collecting things with Tarek, this treasure, I feel that it's cursed or bewitched. The more you fill the sack up and carry it, the more you feel it inside your heart. So maybe we just we just leave with what we have. We don't need to take all of it. It wasn't there. Was there one chest that? I think whatever was in it was we knew I guess Mahadi or somebody at the Emporium would, would be interested. All of the gold the, that uh, seems to be in here, Mahadi or the Emporium would probably be interested. 
um, but you know, just because it has some sort of value to it. Okay, I didn't know if it had some type of properties or, or something else in addition. To well, it. let's uh, let's if you lead me to where your base is now, I'll do my best just to bring it, and then once we we get it there, we can unload it. Yeah, and we don't need that... to take all of it. We need to just get out of here. I'm ready to go. So I will take as much as I can that I feel that you know I can make it back to wherever their uh, base is. I can't find the same. Uh, portal. So how do we get home? I can't find the same portal in image, but uh, that is the. You recognize the portal to the right as the same portal that you came out uh, came in from uh, via Mahadi. Okay. Step through. I I follow them, not recognizing it, but I trust them at this point. Uh, um, and I go, I step in it with them. you back uh, here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this is where you um, all have been uh, staying while in this in this hell. No, but it's a new place we, we we've come to call, I guess, home for now. I am very right. emotionally destroyed at, at this point, physically, mentally, spiritually, and energy just just drained at this point. So Jabu is just, uh, yeah. As Jabu walks away to uh, obviously get rest or something, he says to Rorik says to you again, it is okay to mourn the dead, but remember, don't forget the feelings and then use it. Use it when you need it to, to find strength. Mahadi comes up to you and says, Ah, you've come back. How have you done? How have you done? Uh, I recognize you. You are the man that brought me here. I remember seeing you through the portal. I, yes, I uh, did not think that I could, that they could uh, do very well without uh, without a friend, and uh, I was out of options, so I, I grabbed you. I apologize for that. No need to apologize. You put me in a position to find my brother's killer, and then to eventually find the one that put him in the predicament of uh, a curse. So for that, I do owe you thanks then. I do not mind being here as long as it justifies uh, what I will do next. Oh, that's as fair. That's as fair. Hmm. So you're as, saying that uh, your brother is dead? It is, seems that uh, Thorka has perished in battle. And that it seemed the fear that he had when he uh, told me about before he left to hell with uh, his party was now the Dracolich has him. Hmm. But soon I will get him back from him. Well, Byzant is going to make him a dark knight. And it's yeah, very time likely. is of the essence. Well, we, I mean, you cannot do anything about that until you, uh, until. I mean, if you want to do anything about that. I mean, the reality is, is that, uh, you know, if he is a dark knight, there's only a chance for him to regain his memories. It, uh, it, that Everything may be over at this point. I mean, uh, we can give him, we can have him drink from the panacea, but it may not be enough. Did you at least recover the flower? Yes. I, I have the flower right here. The flower. Oh, well, I, I suppose it is more than just a chance then. That is good. Uh, but uh, we are still going to have to need the panacea. So it is up to you all. You'll have to make a decision and let me know uh, if you want us to go further to find the panacea. 
Uh, you are all not here, so you cannot make a decision like that. But, uh, you know, it is one of those situations that uh, you will have to make a decision uh, whether or not you want to still go to Pandemonium, as your brother is not here who has made the choice on that, uh, with all of you included. Well, I will go. I will follow the path my brother was going on to pandemonium to find the pansea because either i'll free him from that dripping shit of a dragon or if i have to by force but through battle free my brother from his servitude hmm. all right well you know i it's I, I i feel that you should be careful uh did you uh did you lose anything else while you were down there? I do no. not know. I look at Tarek and Jabu. Um, there w I say to him, there, there was uh, one of the sins encountered, and one of the weapons after we defeated the sin had to be destroyed to gain oh. entrance to the flower. Well, yeah, usually uh, a legendary thing begets a legendary thing, I suppose. Uh, mm -hmm. do, you, do you know what that weapon did? I held it the longest, uh, uh, but Jabu did study it, so he may know more about it than I do. It seemed like a powerful blade, though. Hmm. Well, I don't remember. What uh, what sin was it? And I can tell you, I've uh, I know what they guard. I pride. Pride. Oh, well, that would have been useful. Uh, that weapon uh, is imbued with luck. You can actually cast uh, this powerful spell that I uh, that I know called Wish, using it. So much. And that well. is the end of the session today. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Thank you very uh, much. I hope you had fun. And uh yeah, that is uh that was a very, very, very crazy. Uh, I did not expect you guys to be able to handle it. Um, but you did, which is fantastic. Uh we'll chat a bit out of game or out of uh out of stream. Um, but thank you very much to everybody on stream who hung out. Uh, we will have this uploaded uh, probably tomorrow or the next day to YouTube, so you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, definitely intense moments. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a great night.